I might have lied. I'm uh, surprised that you had a house outside of your forge. A uh, true master craftsman uh, never leaves his work. But yeah. it, was a it was a task. It's, task. Task. Yeah, it's two forges, it's fine. <laughs> it because I got a forge on me all the time. It just hangs around my neck. Ah. <laughs> Portable forge. But you would have seen, uh, I don't know if you'd seen it yet. Uh, didn't know, but I have a portable forge. It hangs around my neck. Uh, looks like a Billy Minister forge. He just pulls it out and it pops into a full size forge. Nah, Nib Dob gonna have to borrow that at some point. Can't make the good news without <laughs> Nib Nob will, of course, uh, give it back eventually. Possibly. For a nominal fee. Well, if I find it, finders upgrade, people say. You know, no, no, like, how, how much gold you got? It's fine. Just have to tailor the price, to be fair. Broke us up. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. How is everyone tonight? Good. Good. Just listening to Tiny and Nip Dog. <laughs> okay. Harder, back and forth or something. I came in on the tail end of that. Something about a... Forge getting taken back. I have no idea. Yeah, I, I'm just trying to borrow the portable forge. Know what I mean? And talk some pricing when I eventually give it back. Eventually. Possibly. For the right price. At some point. That's the spirit. Well. That does sound kind of goblin. I mean. I don't really need it for a lot of the stuff I do. I, mean, I just do a ritual. And it acts like a fork. See, all works out in the end. All right. Looks like we have everyone here. Uh, so, Alkaz, you would be scribe for tonight, if that's okay with you. Have fun. It'll be great. No, it won't. It'll be fine. I believe in you. It's faith in you. Uh, and uh, Bogger, you are the previous scribe. Uh, do you want to give us a quick recap of what happened last time? Yeah, so uh, we started the session uh, continuing our battle against those golems, the ones who were immune to magical weapons or magic damage. And then the uh, one who was kind of like shadowy, pure light or something like that. Yeah, the algorithm, that one. Was um, it immune to every all spells? Not the algorithm, I thought. The, was it? The illithid? Or the mind flayers? The, the oh, other ones. Oh, you're talking about the well, mind flayer spirits. The, uh, no, I think was... the algorithm was immune to spells. The other ones were like immune, immune to, to magical or damage. Yeah. yeah. True. Bullshit. Cool. So yeah, we bullshit. were fighting those. Uh, did our best to make peace. Eventually, Tiny, using his awesome Dwarven ring, was able to uh, make a parlay. Even if after, after a nib knob, I forgot what she threw at them, like a fireball or something. Um, I wish I had fireballs. <laughs> but yeah, so we made peace with them. Uh, they told us that uh, we're free to pass through, except for uh, their master's quarters, which I feel like we might be coming upon. Um, and they also gave us a little information that the uh, night weather vault is below us, directly below us, I think is what they said. Um, after that, we uh, head or we find the trolls and uh, begin talking with them. Uh, I forgot what happened with them, but uh, yeah, we found some trolls. Uh, we were able to find a hidden staircase, went down that staircase, and that's when we ran into some mind flayers. Um, and we Took out those mind flayers, and that is about where we left off. All right. 
they weren't proper mind players. They were correct, they were, like they ghosts. Were spiritual. Yeah. Spiritual mind players. Yeah, there were some kind of spirits. It seemed. Uh, but they did yeah. not like you coming into the room. And they right. fucked Tiny up. Don't tell you kept, shit. Kept hitting him with <laughs> psychic energy. I yep. was just uh, drooling in the corner for most of the battle. Yep. You got stun locked. You know what it's like to fight Don't a monk. Worry, done with monks, yeah. I, I'm still, um, what, like half, half, half damage? Uh, yeah. Looks like you are... Well, it says you're badly wounded, but I don't think you're below a fourth, are you? No, I, I healed myself uh, 14 points at the end of the game there. Oh, okay. But I'm at 24. Uh, put the half heart icon on you then. Yeah, I didn't get a chance to do anything. Otherwise, like otherwise you might accidentally get turned into a monkey. Right. I don't mind. It's true. <laughs> All right, so it's the 71st of autumn at 4.30 p.m. What do you all want to do? All right, the very Take first thing I'm doing, I'm using the spell Refueling for Fresh Day. I, I got no spells left. Nice, yeah. nice. All right. <clears throat> uh, so, yeah, you can use your ring. That's fine. I want to look at the orb. Yeah, what does this thing look like? Nibnob is going to investigate this corner. Far away from that. So, uh, <clears throat> I think Arcana might tell you something about the orb. Look good. Nibnob to the rest. Help me. Okay. You want to take a look at it? And by the way, Nibnob, if this thing blows up, that 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 corner is not nearly far away enough. Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, so the uh, the glass orb, uh, you haven't really seen anything like it before. You don't remember reading much about it with your arcane studies. Uh, it's hard to tell whether it's magical just from looking at it, but it does seem to be significant just because it's kind of like on display and it does look a little out of place in this area. Okay. What's this statue look like? Uh, that... Warning. So, uh, Warning. it is actually an elven statue. Uh, history or religion might tell you something about that. Tiny. You want to take a look at history. that? History. Yeah, I'm coming. Holy. Uh, you don't remember the name of the individual, but you believe it is some sort of saint of Corellin's flock, the god of the elves. Uh, some sort I of relate that. Yeah, some sort of uh, warrior of some renown. As um, yeah, you could tell they. Uh, you forget if it's a, a man or a, a woman. Uh, they are extremely well clad and. Fancy looking plate with several uh, prominent weapons displayed on their side and back. Interesting. Hey, Tiny, you can use religion too uh, instead. But um, what I'm going to say is um, are these, uh, you know, gods of dark elves? Oh, really? I'm all fucked up. Or. Uh, Corellin is a. Elves. Krellin is an elven god uh, for the surface elves. I believe he is a patron god of both the high elves and the forest elves. Interesting. It's so weird that they have stuff down here. Even like lower a, down the 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 Well, you do know that there were times when the elves were forced underground due to the cataclysms. Uh, hard times. Is so. This we never seen an orb like this, but does this look like it was built around the same time as this? Like, this is elvish? Elven? It's hard to say. I mean, it just looks like a circular glass orb to you. Okay. Can it be um, picked up? Yeah, it does look kind of fragile, though. Uh, it's not something you could put in a backpack. It's pretty big. Oh. I mean, I got 20 skeletons... But, okay. Oh. Uh, Has anybody touched you yet? Nope. 
touched you? Uh, I no, I don't think anyone's touched the orb yet. I'll touch Bear the orb. picks it up. Puts it down. See, Bogger's got the right idea. Wait, who picked it up? Baron. All right. Uh, it's fairly heavy. It's uh, it's hollow, so it's not like a fully, uh, like a fully uh, hard glass sphere. Um, with nothing in it. Doesn't look like there's anything in it. I mean, you could see through it. You, when you pick it up, you hear what sounds like a whispering. Uh, which will go away when you put it back down. Well, then I uh, pick wait, it back up again. Under it? Yeah, it sounds almost like nonsensical whispering. Hmm. Like the, uh, doesn't sound like any type of language, just, uh, as if someone is saying something too low for you to understand. Hmm. Did I happen to see anything underneath it when we picked it up? No, there's just a stone holder, like that shape, like the bottom of the orb. Okay. Okay. Um, well, we can't really carry it, so I guess I'll put it down. All right, you place it back on the pedestal. Okay. We gather the essence of these spirits things. We um, took a look. I don't believe so. No, we didn't. You did not. You guys want to do that? Uh, we can. Yeah, I suppose. We could do religion, wouldn't they? Yeah, is it religion or arcana? Uh, it would be religion, because they are undead. Alright, go for it. What if you shake the orb? I'm, I'm not really Jesus. I'm changing my dice. Any, uh, you got stars uh, floating around your head. All right. Jesus. This man stunned himself. So, yeah, so you're spending some time getting essence off of these. While, while they're doing that, like, about how long does, it take, does that take? Can I squeeze a ritual in while they do that? Uh, it's probably about two minutes for both of the ghosts. Uh, okay, that's not much time. It's about half a prayer of healing. And when you pick that up, did it sound like a lang a different language or just complete nonsense? Complete nonsense. But it was too low for me to understand. You should pick it up. You're smarter. After I comprehend, would you guys mind me casting comprehend languages for 10 minutes? Never. Okay. Well, if you're going to do that, then I'm going to cast prayer of healing. Wait, you're healing? I think you should have done that. Anyways, yeah, look look at Nibnob run right in. Yeah. Uh, Heals are necessary. Hogger, I think you might benefit from that too? I don't know. Maybe not. I'm getting in here. And I'll uh, shut this door behind us. We're just going to take a short uh, rest well, I can do it up to six people so we all get the healing. Um, if you would benefit, yeah. I yes, use I would. all my hit die. I don't get my... All right, so you close the door and try to pass some time in here. Yeah. Hey, uh, Bogger, can I get one of your vials? Absolutely. Thank you for asking. I will add a vial to Lokun. Player CR8. Uh, I'm going to probably make a whole other section for Essence. This is... A a crazy. <laughs> yeah, there um, are a lot of different types of essence. I'm down to uh, four vials, Lokun. So next time we're in town, make sure we. Uh, yep. First thing we're going to do up. is. I'm going to okay. use my second wind. All right. Thanks, so tiny. you are attempting to pass 10 minutes here for your rituals. During the time, Lokun, uh, you would hear a voice in your head. It sounds like Chiron. Uh, he says, are you near a glass orb by chance, my friend? Oh, shit. I am. What is this thing? 
He says, a curious artifact that uh, our people had found back when Issyk uh, was a city and we were exploring the Undercaves. Um, actually, he can't say much because the spell won't allow too much, but uh, he'll cast uh, it again and say... Um, <clears throat> I can connect the orb to uh, the library if you give me some time. Uh, oh. And then we can use it to quickly move between the library and where you are. Oh, excellent. Right. Oh, good thing I didn't break so it. So you want me to guard it for how, how long? Yeah. He says, uh, casting the spell again, or a spell again, my ritual should take about an hour. Oh, we're about to short rest, yeah? Yeah, I'll tell. I'll let the party know. Uh, warn him of the trolls. Yeah, I'll warn him about the trolls. Last words. I'll be like, uh, we might piss them off. Um, maybe let Orcard know to to brace themselves um, against any potential uh, intrusion. Do you want me to have him fall back to the lab or stay in the hallway defending there? Mm. I think uh, he can guard the hallway and then if needed, fall back to the, to the lab. The hallway is a good choke point. Wait. All right. Hallway, he means the hallway to the south, right? Yeah. Um, All right, so you're trying to pass, well, the first 10 minutes anyway. Yeah. So some time is passing. Uh, are you still casting Comprehend Languages? No, and at this point, since Chiron already let me know what it was, um, I will, I can't cast Identify on it, right? Um, that doesn't work like that. Uh, I mean, it is, if it is magical, identify should work on it. Okay, I'll do that. Um, yeah. And we're still casting prayer of healing. Alright, yeah, you're prayer doing prayer. I don't have to hit that left. Alright, so the ten minutes would pass, uh, letting you cast prayer of healing. It's now 440. Obi. So, yeah, you're... Prayer goes off and everyone gains 10 HP. Well, the magics. Above half. That's pretty good. I'm, uh, I'm topped off. Thank you. Ah, uh, lucky you. <laughs> Alright, and uh, you're still trying to cast Identify, I assume. Uh, identify takes 10 minutes too. Well, he was halfway through the prayer of healing when you talked to Chiron. Okay, yeah, I'll try to finish it. So you got five minutes. I'm gonna be here an hour, anyways. Uh, yeah, you would finish your five minutes, uh, having identify go off, and you would find out that the orb allows, uh, firstly, <laughs> communication. Uh, those who are attuned to it, anyone can attune to it, uh, and if you are attuned to it, you can communicate with anyone else who is attuned to it, and it can have multiple people be attuned to it. Whoa, that's kind of cool. Um, um, I'll spend the hour to attune to it. I think I still have uh, an attunement spot a slot left. Yeah. All right. So during the short rest, you want to attune to this thing? Yeah. Yeah, and you don't have to actually be close to it to use it. Um, but yeah, anyone who attunes to it can communicate with each other through the orb. Oh shit! That's what the mind. That's what the spirit ghost, the uh, mind players are doing. We're doing. They were talking to somebody. Oh shit! Yeah. Can we figure out who they were talking to? Well, yeah, you can talk to them once you're attuned to it. Yeah, oh, but you don't know under common. Uh, well, you do have to know who you're trying to talk to, and the person who you're trying to talk to has to be attuned as well. 
So you don't actually know everyone who's attuned to it. But if you try to communicate with someone who is, then you can. So it's not just like joining some some randos Discord. Yeah, it's not like the World Wide Web, yeah. <laughs> All right. But, yeah, anyone who uh, wants to can be attuned to it if they spend the, uh, the slot. Cool. Uh, there are some other magical properties to this, though the Identify doesn't tell you exactly what they are. I mean, the fact that you can use this to teleport, you would guess this thing is a, a fairly powerful artifact. Mm -hmm. But we can't pick it up. Well, you what can pick we, it up. It's just very awkward. What should we call this place? Because I'm gonna track. I'm gonna jot this down in the ledger. Um, Maybe your room, like the dungeon. Yeah. Uh, you oh. could call it uh, the Corellan bunker. How do I spell Corellan? It's C O R E L L O N, I believe. Yeah, C O R E L L O N, God of the Elves, is a Forgotten Realms god. Glass orb. Uh, Lou, if I wanted to cast uh, Dark Vision on Buried before the end of this short rep, um, when would I have to declare that? I have to spend key. I want to make sure. Uh, you probably want to do it before you start resting, then. Cool. Because, I mean, it, I know it says spells are strenuous activity, but yeah. class abilities probably are as well. It doesn't say for sure, but I would guess they are. True. Uh, then I'd spend a few key points to get a fair dark vision. Oh, look at me. Okay. At least we figured wow. out what the orb does. Ball in. That dark vision. I'm basically invincible now. Alright, how long does that last? Eight hours. I assume it's just a normal dark vision spell. Alright. So. I was going to mark it. He said you gave it to Barrett? So that's 60. Barry would put away his flame tongue because he doesn't need that shit no more. Okay. I mean, extra damage. Well, yeah. So basically, the orb is a walkie talkie. Light also makes it easier to see. You have disadvantage for perception with dark vision. Yeah. But, alright. You, uh, you shouldn't have light anymore. Uh, all right. So, is anyone else attuning to this? I mean, I have a slot open. Sure. I'm just gonna look. I don't got nothing open. All right. So, yeah, it would take an attunement slot. Um, so you're trying to pass an hour here. Let me write that down. <laughs> who's, all, who's all attuned? Well, well the hour is passing. Yeah. Out. Also, start doing the tech magic too. Uh, so you're doing that uh, before the hour rest. Oh, attunement! Attunement probably requires me to just focus on that, huh? Well, okay. detect. Uh, you don't have to, but you detect magic would be considered strenuous, so you couldn't start your rest till after you finish casting. Oh, that. I, I'm not even resting. So. Oh, I see. So then, yeah, you're fine. Well, if you're not, so to attune, you have to do it during a short rest. So you'd have to spend a short rest to attune. I believe oh. uh, the thing for, you can do as much attuning or unattuning as you want during a short rest, but you do have to spend a short rest to do it. Unless okay, I'm misremembering mind. that. I'll then just do the short rest and attunement. And then instead of the tech magic, I will investigate the statue. Okay. So let uh, me see. If, yeah. What can I add to hit dice? Because I see tiny dude. Like oh, tiny's, tiny's cheating. But, uh... uh yeah, you, usually usually it would be at the end of your, uh, of the yeah, short uh, rest. I was, I was trying to wait. 
Yeah, no, yeah, usually, like, usually. when I say the short rest ends, that's when everyone does the stuff. Uh, but yes, the hour would pass without issue. Luckily, the dice are, are in your favor right now. Uh, so it is now 545 when you finish your short rest. Uh, go ahead and do all your attunement, hit dice, and all that other stuff. Uh, spend a... Spend I'm, a all caught, I'm all caught up, and then I have to take two hours to do it. Yeah. <laughs> And can I uh, take a close look at this statue, see if there's anything, like, secret about it? Uh, yeah, so if you examine the statue with investigation, it does look very well crafted, high quality, but you don't think there's any secrets to it. It just seems decorative. Okay. Uh, did you do it's detect decorative. magic? Uh, no, you said it was strenuous, and I needed to. Okay. So, yeah, I was just curious if you would have seen uh, any magical signatures. Uh, but, yeah, the hour is up. And at this point, let's see. When do I get those back? I think it's a long rest, right? There's a flash of energy, and Chiron would appear. Oh, oh, What's up? Up? Uh, he kind of looks around and he says, uh, yes, just as I remember it. All right. Uh, if you touch the crystal and think of the library, you can return there. Um, well, Nibnob tested. Is Nibnob going to disappear? Touch orb. All right. Now somebody break the crystal. All right. So <laughs> oh, you suck. Wait, did you, uh, you did you touch it and think of the library? Let's say yeah. All right, so Dim Nop would vanish. Whoa. Chiron says, uh, I would like to do some more rituals. I believe I can. Bro, you literally see I'm doing something. I believe I can connect this place uh, to the uh, more thoroughly to the areas I can travel to, thanks to the power of this crystal. Uh, it will take some time, but you uh, you all don't have to stay here for that. Uh, do you plan to all return to the library, or are you going to continue down here? Um, I'm not sure I was going to discuss that with the party. We're afraid of the trolls, because, um, uh, by the way, we, we found another um, Roodmaster's study down here. Um, but we encountered these this algorithm that was immune to all my spells and uh we we uh, arrived at, a, at an agreement with it um but this disagreement will set the trolls upon us i, I believe hmm. uh, they, they just want that area they got ways to get out and everything they just don't like being pulled where they can't go well if the trolls feel betrayed they may try to come up through the library and attack us um, i fear Unfortunately, there's uh, nothing we could do besides perhaps attacking them first. But um, I can defend the library to an extent. It uh, really depends on how many trolls try to come through. I believe uh, your allies, the hobgoblins, might be in danger. Uh, while hobgoblins are fierce warriors, trolls uh, are probably um, a bit more dangerous as melee combatants. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, and uh, he will trade stuff out of his master's uh, room for a good weapon. Yeah. Um, Tiny, do you still have those um, arcane locks available? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, Kyron, yeah, right. do you think we should uh, lock this this door here, kind of make it safe for for us, or I don't know. Well. It will definitely slow down anyone that might come to disrupt my ritual. Uh, I don't know if it's foolproof, as the door can still be broken down with enough force, but uh, definitely wouldn't hurt. Yeah. Uh, um, Chiron, um, you're expanding your network and your territory. What's your what's your end goal here? He says, there's only so much I can expand my territory. The magic yeah. of this crystal will allow me to exert influence over this uh, small room and perhaps one of the surrounding rooms. But uh, my end goal is to just be able to uh, 
travel as far as possible and assist all of you as you are my allies. And I owe you for helping me retake any of this territory. Cool. Can I insight him there? Sure. Ooh. Isn't he working on a project don't. for you still? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, you think he's being honest. He doesn't seem like well, he's being uh, deceptive. Well, Chiron, I, I appreciate all the help you can get. Uh, we, as you know, we're new to this area, and uh, you've, you've made this uh, far, far easier than we could have imagined. Or, he well, says, far easier than it would have been without you. And I appreciate the help you've given me. Perhaps uh, in time, Isik could return to its former glory with your help. Indeed. You ever... Uh, nothing wrong with how, how you are now, Chiron, but do you ever seek to return to your previous form? Are you like in... You know, he says, if such a thing is possible. I've, sure that you have. I've looked into it, though, and the... And he stops and he's like, oh, I should probably go make sure the goblin hasn't stolen all my books. <laughs> and tell him how to come back. Uh, you see him kind of put his large claw over the uh, glass orb and he says, I shall return shortly. He disappears. Stealing our stuff. <laughs> None of our stuff is there. It's just all Chiron books. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, what do you all want to do? Uh, what do you guys want to do? Yeah, because um, Okun is very worried about these trolls, and he thinks that uh, either we need to talk Nib to the trolls. Appears. And, uh, either we need to talk to <laughs> trolls and uh, explain that things are in works, or we do what Chiron said and and just fuck them up, slaughter all the trolls. You know, if we if we catch them one or two at a time. It wouldn't be too hard for us to take them out. Okay. Are you saying you want to make these trolls our bitches? Yeah. Uh, no. They don't look good in a dress. <laughs> oh my. Like I said, their head will go well with the ogre and the golem. Collect them. We either convince them to be our friends or kill them. It's their choice. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Oh, what's the decision? Uh, kill them all? We're gonna or... tell them they can either be our friends and follow our rules, or they can fight us. Oh, yeah. Like that, like that sounds like that's what uh, most of the other party. But I, I prefer peace. I don't want to fight trolls. But. Loot. but... What are the well, chances? Okay. Dip Dob dances around. So, what do we want to do? This like proactively, or do we want to just see if they 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 cross the line and enforce our hand? Or yeah, it doesn't like, seem smart to wait. Yeah, it's like proactive for sure. I mean, okay. if they take out a couple of the, the others, they'll know about. I mean. They'll know. Okay, so do we want to take care of that problem first before venturing for deeper down, or I'm just afraid we keep going further in here, and by the time we go up, we're pretty weakened and and have to deal with trolls and uh, behind us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there's like two of them right up the top of the stairs. Gonna take them out. All right. Um, all right. Let's do it. Is that the plan, everybody? <laughs> I'm following you all. Uh, you, uh, you could probably take the stunned icon off you, Tiny. Yeah, I'm trying to find it. <laughs> Mimnop has an unhealthy loot obsession. Unhealthy? Ridiculous. I feel, Absolutely. I feel like if we run into Ouch Clap, we, we should, um, give him, a, uh, an option there. If he wants to join our, us, um, yeah. That's right, so your your rope is still uh, there set up, so you can make your way across without issue. I think that's a good idea, Tiny. We'll use my free use of arcane lock. For the day. Yeah, you get one, one per day. 
Alright, so the door is locked. And uh, Chiron must be pretty powerful. He was able to use sending multiple times. Yeah, he's a big strong guy. Send him a message. And it wasn't message. Um, I was sending for sure. Well, wasn't he like the grand wizard guy? Yeah. All right. What's the marching orders here, guys? Oh, it's our for formation. Who's in front? Because some of our front liners might be a little bit worn down. Uh, I could be up front. Okay. Oh, I'm back. I'm back up. Uh, pretty much full with the fighter. I got all my oh, wow. uh, stuff. Short nice. rest gives me all my uh, other stuff back. Oh, that's fine. He's all my lay on hands. We're fine. Okay, we're good. Let's do it. All right. Uh, uh, so, uh, are the two of you who are not in the room coming over this way? Uh, who's the two? Oh. Okay. So you all Very make your way back up the stairs. Uh, going up and up back to the area you just came from. We should uh, try to speak with Archclef first. I agree. I, I, I have this... I want to tell him my, my vision. Um, you know... Yeah. That yeah. I visualized him sitting on the throne and the name King Ouchclap seems to roll off the tongue pretty nicely. Alright, so go ahead and drag yourselves onto the fountain there. As you come up the oh. stairs, the room seems to be empty. The trolls must have moved on. It has been an hour, so. Oh, uh, yeah. There's a question. Um, these platforms up here, did we check them out? Like, do we have to go up there to see what's on them, or we can see it from down here? Uh, you would have to climb up there. I don't think you've checked them all out. I don't think you've climbed up on any of them. It just looks like um, they overlook the room. Like, maybe this was some kind of uh, hall where people met. Gotcha. But yeah, if you want to climb up and have a look, you can. Alright. It has a ladder or whatever. Yeah. Fogger's on it. You probably can just jump up there. Can you jump 20 feet? I can teleport in dim light. Oh yeah. Alright. Well. So if you poof up to the rafters up there, uh, it just looks like, yeah, like a place you could sit and kind of overlook the room. You don't see anything up here at least what's your passive perception 21 so in darkness that would be 16. Ah, well, Lokun, um, Lokun. yeah Lokun will light. see that Lokun will see that um bogger is trying to scope out the room and he'll cast light i mean i got uh yeah. what do you or where are you putting the light uh, on my component pouch. Okay. So it's a 20 foot light source. Uh, he would probably have to have it up there with him to benefit from it, unless you went up there. Because the okay, platforms are about 20 feet up, so it would be at the edge of the light. Yeah. 20, you also? I could drop a rope and pull you up. Yeah, so Lokun climbs up with his lit-up component pouch. Uh, it doesn't appear to uh, like there's anything, at least up on this platform. Uh, looking around with a 16, you don't think any of the platforms have anything on them? Uh, they are dark, though, so you can't see as well over uh, at the other ones. Cool. Okay, let's go down and check all of them out before we move on. Okay. Uh, a good look over here by the door. Uh, what about the door? I said I'm keeping a good look over here. Oh, okay. Just keeping watch. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The hallway seems clear at the moment. Uh, so you two are kind of looking around on the different platforms. 
Uh, when you get to this one over here, you would find it has a small pouch on it that you couldn't see from a distance. Oh. Pick it up. This is yeah. Uh, I would uh, look at it to see if there's any traps or anything on it before I uh, open it up. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Could be like the Indiana Bones pouch. It doesn't look like there's a trap on it. Uh, what's cool. your... Yeah, you have a light source. So the 21, at least, you don't see anything out of the ordinary. Great. Pick it up. Okay, so it looks really old, like it may have been left up here a while ago. Uh, in, are you going to open it up? Mm -hmm. uh, inside the pouch, you would find several very nice-looking gems. Ooh. Like money oh. gems or uh, all kinds of gems? So... This is what you find. Nice. Oh, diamonds. Maybe you guys get, um, what do you call it? Revivify. I think it's 300 GP, right? There it is. Yeah. Nice. So yeah, these uh, look like they've been up in the dust uh, laying up here for quite some time. Probably from uh, back when whoever owned this place... Uh, or maybe back from the time of the Isik archaeologists, it's hard to tell. Okay. Uh, um, they would probably be wet too, so it was probably underwater for a while. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Nice. That would make sense. So yeah, we'll 300 GP of diamond. Nice. Yeah. Alright, so what do you very, want to do? Very check that statue out. Let's go up on this platform. I'm guessing it's empty. Yeah, there's nothing on that one. Okay. All right, I'll put away, I tuck away the component pouch and uh, give uh, Augur his darkness back. Okay. So yeah, the hallway looks like it's undisturbed currently. You would see tracks to uh, kind of mark where the trolls went. It looks like they headed south. We're going troll hunting. Let's look for Ouchclap. Okay. I don't think I have dark vision. Uh, you wouldn't now. Uh, you got it, was, it from a bugger. That was on the other no, level. Just, okay. No, I. Oh, yeah. you meant like the actual token? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I was like, yeah, you do. What are you talking about? You just got it. Yeah, no, I was saying I don't think I have. You have it cool. until midnight forty-five. Cool. Look at this. Is this how you guys see all the time? Great. Right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, built different. It's wow. like, it's like you know, like when those people put on those glasses that lets them see color for the first time. It's, like, <laughs> yeah. it's uh, beautiful. South. It's like south. South. Looks like they're heading south. Oh, there is oh, this room up here. Why don't we check this room out real quick? With the columns? And we yeah. open that door. Wasn't that the problem? We could open the door. Well, I could move to the other side. Okay, do your thing. Why are you getting all misty-eyed, Baron? <laughs> misty-eyed? Um, would I be able to magically poof to the other side? Uh, yeah, so if you look through, you're going to just teleport 30 feet through it? Uh, well, I would look through to find a... Uh, does it look safe? I mean, you just see a hallway on the other side. It's kind of dark in there. Cool. Um... I would just go to the other side of the fence or pillars. So you're teleporting like what, 10 feet in? Yeah, yeah. All right. So you teleport in going 10 feet. Uh, and there is a click underneath you. Oh, <laughs> no. Uh, I need a deck save. You what the? Oh, no. You got this. Cool. You attempt to jump out of the way as a bunch of spears poke out of the floor at you. Nice. Uh, yeah, so you'd make it. Do you have evasion? I do not yet. Okay. Uh, so... 
You do uh, get a little bit stabbed, taking eight points of piercing damage. Uh, and as you run forward, I need oh another... God. Oh, you're oh, still your token. Oh, man, I'm just messing up here. <laughs> you just disappear hey, as the... Sp I, yeah. Did you really just keep going? <laughs> I, I, I know we can't pass through, but we can see through. We can see what's happening through the bars, right? Can we just all get to witness fire get... Uh, well, I would need another deck save. Uh, can I set it so you can see through? I think I can. Alright, so you make that one too. Oh god, he kept going. Kept going. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm that's done. another, uh, ten points of, uh, piercing damage. As you guys hear, like, click, ah, click, and a bunch <laughs> of, like, like, uh, stabbing noises. Sh -sh 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 -sh. And probably Bogger going cursing in uh, uh, either common or goblin. Cool. I'm going to stop here and start looking around for a way to cause these pillars to disappear. Is there like a secret panel somewhere? Uh, uh, you, uh, all right. So do you have a light source? You don't see anything with a 16. Uh, Ask uh, Lokun and Tiny if they could bring their light out. Okay, Lokun will bring out the light. All right, so I'm you uh, bring out it's your light pouch. I assume you're standing near the wall there. Uh, yeah, you don't see fine. anything within the first 20 feet other than the uh, pressure plates that you had stepped on. True. So if uh, there is a way to disable these, it's further in. And yes, you yeah. would notice at the end of the hallway there's that weird, like, uh, star carved on the floor etched into the stone. I mean, really, we need to get we need to get um, Tiny or Barrett in there. But wait, who is um, who has exhaustion? Um, just so we know. Nibnob. I think Nibnob yeah. does. Just Nibnob. Okay. But we need to get uh, either Tiny or Barrett, ideally both of them in there. Um, I think Nibnob has two, unfortunately. Yep. Oh, does Nibnob have two levels? Yep. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, so he's yeah, at half how speed. Four decisions. All right. You just um, put that on there to remind me. Well, I can't get in there unless I take that one beat. This is overkill, but I can do it. I can dimension door somebody in there. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe there's the something guy. further ahead. Um, I'm pretty sure that's probably just his like master's room or whatever. <laughs> is... a little bit of noise, I can always try and knock. Oh, uh, that I work too. I maybe we come back here, Bogger. I I think um, cool. We should we should. We should deal with the trolls before we try to right. mess with traps and stuff. Uh, yeah. Sounds great. <laughs> uh, mark this place down. And uh, take your light away so I can look back. Okay. Please. Yes, and sir. I really hope this works. Alright, so you poof back through. Uh, yes. You would actually notice something as Tiny's light is in the area. Uh... It looks like there's some tracks over here that seemingly head oh. south into the wall. Oh. Like big uh, tracks? Like troll tracks? No, not the troll. Like a humanoid or maybe out. something medium-sized. Algorithm well, tracks? Could be. Could be. <laughs> maybe it could be a like number that. of things. Where? Which wall you said? This wall? Over uh, in this area. I think he said south over here. No. Uh, over here, in the, uh, this wall here. Ooh, okay. Well, uh, let's take a close look at this wall where the tracks seemingly lead, lead into. Uh, so, investigate? On it. Yeah, I'll help you if you need it. So the wall seems pretty solid. Uh, but as you're going, you're noticing 
Very small uh, holes hidden by pieces uh, of illusionary wall that you can stick your fingers into. I'll point uh, it out to the party. Should I stick my finger stick in finger. there? Stick your that finger in there. Might the best right. idea. Do it. Do uh, it. I'll, I'll stick my finger in there, I guess. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So there are four of them, uh, and it seems like each one has a button in it. Oh, but it seems like this is like a pattern. I have to press it. Uh, Loken assumes or thinks that this is a pattern. Like it's probably um, the lock bird that um, I and, and only four buttons. You would think they get a better better lock than that. Um, I can just brute force it. Um, but uh, does Lokum can he deduce? how what pattern like could would be used here um yeah how would you figure that out no idea um <laughs> uh it just seems like four buttons i mean you would guess that if this is some sort of uh pattern that maybe you'd have to press between one and four at the same time to uh like stick your fingers into certain ones together because it does look like you could put all four fingers into the four holes that are right next to each other like someone might put their fingers into like grab the wall uh so you would guess there are certain buttons you would have to push to maybe unlock whatever this is but you don't know which buttons those are i mean it could be all four of them but you doubt that you would guess there's like maybe like you'd have to push button one and two or like one and three or maybe just one of them at the, uh, to open whatever this is. Gotcha. Well, guys, I think uh, this is an idea is I can make a skeleton um, or does or somebody, somebody have, have a hand? I mean, I could, like I said, this one here would accept not two probably. There you go. Not might affect this one as well. I don't know. Would it? Would it? Uh, do you think so? If it's, uh, a, if it's a lock. Yeah, I just don't want to be making such a big noise here. But no, I understand. That's what I'm saying. Um. Okay. I mean, my idea is just making a skeleton and having the skeleton do it. Is we this, uh, is this a corner. stone wall? I mean, it's stone wall, right? Yeah, the wall feels solid. Like, if you right. feel the wall the, here. Does any of the holes look smoother than the other ones? Ooh. Uh, yeah. So you put the light up to the holes. Uh, there are some scratch marks, which kind of, uh, yeah, with the light there looking closely, it makes you think, like, uh, someone at some point uh, far in the past was probably using this. Uh, you don't see anything that would indicate one hole is uh, like more used than the others. You would guess like whoever used this probably put all four fingers in, but um, he, whoever did it, like he or she knew which buttons to press as they put their fingers in to unlock whatever this was. But then once they were pressed, like used all four to yank the wall open. Uh, um. Yeah, maybe we return to this. But let's let's maybe mark this off. Um. Right. As for whether or not, as for whether or not knock would work, I mean that's hard to say unless you just tried it. I was trying to unmark it. I'm uh, not going to cast knock, but I'll just knock on the wall. All right. You knock on the solid wall. It seems pretty solid. Okay. There might have been something right. on the other side. Who knows? My friends, let us not get distracted. And this also might be uh, the master's quarters that we're supposed to avoid. Exactly. All right. Let's go deal with uh, the trolls. Maybe we can talk to Ouch Clap. <laughs> okay. Right. So where are you heading? Back uh, back south here? Um, I think uh, Piney and Bogger are taking the floor this time. Or I guess any of these guys. Uh, I think I think Outcast is also pretty 
looking all right. So. Yeah, just took all my lay on hands. I just feel so himself. naked without my skeletons or my owl. This is black. <laughs> Only moving well, a single token. Maybe if you took better care of them. <laughs> Alright, so the troll bodies are still in here. Probably starting to smell a little bit after all this time. Yes, one would say they smelled even when they were alive. It's probably mm -hmm. true. Um, they have anything on them? Quick glance? Uh, no, they're pretty badly burned. Uh, you also have the re uh, remainder of the golem here, which you uh, had killed. Yeah, I think we uh, we already gathered it. Its essence. Yeah. Yeah. Into the hall. So as you get into the hall, you would immediately hear something moving around down in the hole here. Uh. It sounds like something large. Possibly a troll. Um, I guess I would yell down. It's a uh, ouch clap. Uh, you yell down the hole. You hear more movement and something. Uh, talks in a language you don't understand. At least I don't think anyone speaks giant. Nope. One of the non, non the Thelmer ones. Uh, and a moment nope. later, something climbs out of the hole. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Uh, you see a large, uh, nasty, nasty looking uh, troll kind of pulsing with necrotic energy. I think you've seen oh. these before. Man, we, we, yeah. Uh, it says oh. something to you in giant. It seems angry. Oh. What do you want to do? You can't speak giant. We'll just make yeah, you know common? Like we should have yelled down the hole. <laughs> <laughs> nah. It's almost like that was not the best idea. Common. It continues. Oh, um, I pull out a ration and throw it to him. <laughs> Point to the south and say, they went that way. <laughs> oh my god, it was so stupid. Point to the I south? Know. Is there a way to go south? Well, no. <laughs> there is that. So he picks up the ration and starts sniffing it. Don't tell him we go to the library. Um, I'll just uh, make a clap, like clap with my hands, and go ouch, and then and then and shrug my shoulders. Just trying to. Uh, he just stares at you, language. kind of a blank yeah. look in his eye. Doesn't seem like he's very smart. Once again, he starts talking to you. Come in. Idiot. He points down the hallway. Uh, this way. Cool. I'll uh, say thank you. <laughs> wow. I don't think he understands you. Yeah, he doesn't seem like he understands you, but it seems like he wants you to oh, go like, that way. Not in gesture, thank you. Okay. Right, start moving. Uh, and it seems like he is following you. Oh. Hmm. Great, we have one behind mm. us too now. <laughs> mm. I will jump across. Does this mean there's a rope there to get across? Yeah, you yeah. all set up a rope to get across that, so you can get across okay. it without issue. What is, what is walking? Because it's like, why why did we go down the hole? <laughs> like, what benefit did that give us? You have a new troll friend. Are you saying that in, in character, Alka? 
<laughs> yeah. We have a new troll friend. Yes, we, yes, we got very lucky. It was not an angry troll. Yeah, I moved my, my position to the back, um, just in case. Alright, cool. He was pointing to the south, this room? Yeah. Now he starts pointing southward. Again, speaking in a language you don't understand. It might be better to take him out before we get to his friends. Yeah, quite possibly, but I am, yeah. I'm following Bogger's lead. So as you get down oh. here, uh, there are uh, two oh. trolls in this room. Uh, one you recognize, and one you definitely <laughs> do not. King. Oh, oh. oh shit. Uh, a large uh, three-headed troll kind of turns around as you come walking in. Uh, and uh, he is going to yell something angrily at you. Again, you cannot understand. Come in! Oh my god. Yeah, uh, uh, ouch, Clark. What is he saying? Uh, so, here, this is what he looks like. And of course, there is uh, your favorite oh, poison spewing troll in here, just kind of hanging out. Yep. Okay, that's his favorite. Most painting of poison. <laughs> um... So yeah, the big troll seems angry uh, as it is yelling something at you, uh, and here? kind of looking towards the south. Uh, you don't see ouch clap in the area. What do you want to do? We Pointing don't speak giant. Pointing to the south, though. Take a look at the yeah. south, then. Yeah, let's look. <laughs> All right. I don't see what he's pointing at. So if you look south, uh, you just see the stairwell going up. You don't see anything back there. Uh, and he is going to then say something and kind of point back up in the direction of the room where you all went. I guess he's asking if we dealt with the problem. <laughs> Again, uh, uh, what can we all Give me an say... insight check. Ooh. You might be able to uh, figure something oh, out. This... Yeah, anyone who's listening oh, to geez, this. Oh, jeez, really? Wow. So, Barrett, you get the feeling that he might know that you uh, mm. made an alliance with those constructs. Alliance is a strong word. Or agreement not to fight them. <laughs> well, he seems very annoyed. Or who, yeah. else, who else is attuned to the uh, orb? Oh, I don't know. Um, who attuned to I, it? I, I, I think I was the only other one. Oh, yeah, I, I'll... Attune to... I have no attunement spots. Oh my god. So it's just I you and one. Alcaz. Well, I'm okay, like... so you want to talk to each other? Yeah, I guess we could talk to each other in common, <laughs> since they don't understand it. Uh, um, every... Oh, well, I could do a psychic whisper for an hour. Oh, go for it. Because I got a one, but... It's everyone but one person, so I mean, until me my and him already honest. have the communication. So. Yeah, I'll, I'll oh yeah, I won't do Alcas. All right, now we can wow. all talk in our head to each other. Okay, I'll be like, um, we strike now. These these are the options Ugh. that I I have is strike now, lure them into that room, and and get the help of the algorithm, or three. Try to get Ouch Clap in here and, and and explain this away, but we do lying through our teeth. Basically. We can try to say Ouch Clap, Ouch Clap. I'll just yell at him. Ouch Clap. No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he. Right? Uh, he. Uh, 
is going to say ouch clap and say a bunch of stuff you're not sure of. Oh dear! Uh, he, he could be saying a lot of things. He points at um, points at Lokun, and again, seems like he's saying something angrily. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll hold up ten fingers, and and point at my wrist. Although that doesn't really help, but like I'll try to communicate that I need ten minutes. All right, make an int check for him. Uh, uh, performance check for me. I mean, he could be saying a lot of stuff about Ouchclap. No, Ouchclap. Like, oh, I love that dude. That dude's great. He's the best. He uh, so he just kind of stares at you as you're pointing at your ten fingers. Uh, again, starts oh. speaking and says uh, something. Uh, is going to say something to this guy, uh, and uh -oh. then say something to this guy, who both kind of nod at him. Oh. Well, I guess we... Uh, give me initiative rolls. Yep. Ugh. We should have went yep. first. We should have just left. Well, <laughs> it, it, it probably... The only person who could go first would be probably you and Bogger. Um, Jared, um, I realized that I could have set him up with the psychic whispers. We don't need to have a common language to understand each other. Well, good job, Varys. I what? Good job. A little too late for that. Now we well, gotta kill. I him. had a check. Yeah. Jeez. Damn it, Varys. Okay. Why? 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 Why are you such a? You know, my God, what a what a naysayer. You know, we're <laughs> naysayer. That's a good word for Alcas. I'm just, I'm yeah. just saying a simple like, fact. Uh, a little I'm too just, like, late. Critiquing everybody. Alcas right. Seltzer, the naysayer. Alcas Seltzer. <laughs> One whole time, we couldn't communicate with these guys. All right. I I just look. So the first yeah. to act uh, <laughs> is they seem to get angrier. Uh, Lokun. So yeah, this guy says something to the other two, who look like they uh, kind of start to approach, possibly uh, with hostile intentions. What do you want to do? Yeah. Um. Well. I know we need fire, so I will cast fire, burning spear, and I will do it at the fourth level. Let's just say, let's do a fourth level. Um, All right, so you chant summoning a flaming spear to life. Where is that going? Um, I'm going to smash it into um big one i'm gonna position it um right here so hold on a second there's the flame <coughs> all right Damn. so uh I'm hitting that I'm hitting that pipe hard the uh oh, sorry my bad <laughs> <laughs> So there is an explosion of fire as your flaming sphere roars to life, trying to slam into the big one who yells, uh, um, probably fire and giant, though you don't know for sure. Uh, but yeah, he'll try to dodge it. So is that oh. deck save? Yeah, and do I use duration 10 for it? Is it yeah, because uh... it's a minute. Okay. I assume. And what's your input value? Uh, minus one. Because it's minus one each turn. Uh, Alright, so I think 13 fails. Oh, shit. It put it on the flame sphere. Oops. Oh. Uh, well, do that doesn't that... Yeah, you want to put it on yourself because it doesn't have initiative. Okay. Yeah, it would only tick down if it was on the initiative tracker. I guess we nice. could put it, but that would be a pain. Alright. He takes... Uh, um... 19 damage, it looks like. Alright, so he is not quick enough. His fire burns him doing 19. Uh, and I assume that's it for you? Yeah, I'm going to just stay in my position, kind of uh, blocking, uh, guarding. Uh, actually, I'll move over here, maybe? I don't know what's better. Yeah, sure. That looks good. That's my turn. All right. And 
I don't have any skeletons, no nothing. This is bullshit. It gets sadder every time you bring it up, honestly. <laughs> Breaks my heart just a little bit more every time. Poor Skelly. Skelly's, uh, Skelly's away for now. Uh, you Nibnob. Know, he failed to save. <laughs> Alright, this is, this is gonna be a little awkward, I swear to god. Uh... I'm trying to get Justin So you are technically in range of his attacks. He threatens ten feet. Right. Uh so he you are uh threatened by him right now. Right. Specifically, uh I'ma do a lightning bolt right through this fucking line. Okay. Right. Oh wait, at Hogger? No, no. That's fine, Bog over fine. <laughs> No, no, it's a, it's a five I, I assume you're, uh, yeah, trying to not hit Bogger. Alright, so you chant summoning forth a bolt of magical lightning, which arcs from your fingers through the two trolls, uh, possibly, as they try to dodge it. The big one uh, does not dodge it, so he takes 28 lightning. <laughs> Uh, the poisonous one will also try to dodge it. Uh, oh, he would. So he takes half damage, taking 14. Uh, and he is going to spray some poison. Uh, it nine, is yep, nine points yeah. of poison damage to... Uh, to uh, Bogger, and actually, he hits the big Can one I for take... nine as well. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can I use absorb elements on that? Use what? Uh, absorb absorb elements. elements on poison. Yeah, poison? I don't think I don't think All poison right. is an element. Man, that's the most worthless spell I've ever taken. Uh, it's really good mean? for elements. A like... lot of everything. Yeah. Or a lot. <laughs> It doesn't work on one type of damage. Just Terrible. Necrotic and it's bullshit. Poison. Jeez. Uh, yeah, it'll work oh, on fire, damage. lightning, kind of acid, cold. But yeah, just certain. Yeah. All right. So yeah, unfortunately, you get some poison splashed. Uh, anything else, Nibnob? And that'll be it. I'm gonna just chill in the spot. I can't move much anyway. And all the trolls rolled pretty bad on their initiative. Luckily. All right, Alcus. All right. So, question about the stub, about the orb, right there. If I stand there, do I take the fire damage? If you end your turn there, you would. That's. A... Can I move through it? Yeah. Yes. You can like dash okay. in, smack, and then run back. So if yeah. I could like move down there. Yeah, sure. I guess his range is ten feet, so I could just go there and then right back. I'll just yeah. move down to here. Okay. And I'm gonna put my, my 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 curse on him. My hex blades curse. Uh, all right. I need a timer for that. I think it's that one. Yeah. Good link here. Yeah, hex you know, blades curse. You know, crit on 19, a little extra damage. If they die, I get healed a bit. Ah, uh, yeah. Go ahead and link it so we have it on the uh, tracker there. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. All right, so you affect him with Hexblade's Curse. Hit him with the bang, hit him with the, the doubles. And uh, I assume you're going to try to attack. Uh, yeah, 22 will strike him. Number uh, one. Dealing 17 for the first attack. Uh, 24 will strike him as well. Is that a crit? No. Uh, I don't believe so. It'll uh, be a crit if it's 30. Doing another 19. 17. Okay. Yeah, 30. 31. Uh, anything else? Uh, nope. That's all I do. My bonus action and my action. Alright, so that ends your turn, Tiny. Okay. I am going to see where he go. He went there. Cool. 
Alright, so you rush up on the large troll. Oh, oh. Make a measurement real quick. We, we have reason to believe he is the most dangerous. Looks pretty dangerous. I'm gonna cast Spirit Guardians. Okay, so a bunch of spiritual energy comes off of you. Uh, what does it look like? like a bunch of little hammers. Alright, a bunch of hammers. Got it. Uh, which you... Yeah, go ahead and put a 15-foot aura on yourself. Uh, is that it for you? Um, yes. All right. All right. Bogger. Uh, um, cool. Uh, am I in dim light? Or is there a way I could use this dude's earth? Uh, you are room. not, because you're within 20 feet of tiny. And there's no way I could use that dude shadow to be in dim light. Uh, no, dim light, you'd have to be at 25. So if you moved back one, you'd be in dim light. Uh, if you just need shadows, then that's a different thing. Because, yeah. yes, he would have a shadow on him. Cool. Well, then, in that case, I will run down here, uh, bonus action, step of the wind, spend a key point to disengage. So that was 15 feet. Um, that's 35 feet. Um, that's a big 40 feet to there. I'm gonna punch this guy. Okay. And let's see if this. Uh, yeah, 27 will strike him. Punching him for uh, 9, 15, 21 damage. Cool, oh, I'll punch him a second time. Oh, whoops. Not tiny, he would be the big guy. Uh, Alright. Second attack, 18 will strike him again. Doing another oh, I... 15. Cool, I'm also going to try to stun him. Uh, that will wound him, actually. Oh, maybe I should have stunned him. Do you want to try to stun him, you said? Might as well. Yeah. He's about to be next. Well, after the big troll. Uh, Alright, so that is a con save? Correct. I believe in you. Oh. Oh, you that was got a, it. That was a bad roll for him. But yes, he still I'm made right. it. So he That's is cool. not stunned, unfortunately. Cool. And then I will use my Dread Ambusher Strike one last time. Uh, oh, no. 14. That now that's going to just miss as you just punch his leathery hide but don't deal damage. Cool. Oof. And so I used 40 feet to get there. I have 15 more feet. I get to back here. All right. Because you step the wind, right? Yep. Uh, Alright, so that's it for you. Uh, the Venom Troll goes. He's gonna move. Uh, let's see. Uh, he'll just move up and around here. And he's gonna go for Tiny. Using his multi-attack, uh, he makes a claw attack on you uh 16 i believe misses uh second claw 28 is probably gonna hit you clawing you for 11 slashing and five poison so that be and a bite attack uh 22 I'll use that shield. Alright, so that one you spend your reaction to shield, knocking it back. Uh, he is also going to regenerate, regaining 10 hit points. Wow. This, his wounds are healing very quickly. 
Uh, I believe that's it for him. Is my uh, spirit guardians affected? Oh, right, spirit guardians. Uh, yeah, so he has to make a wisdom save. Uh, did you take your 16 damage? Oh, there you go. Okay. Oh, 13. Yeah, 13 because of the armor thing. Uh, wisdom save. For the spirit guardians. Uh, 16? Would that be? So I think he takes half damage. Yeah, 15. Okay, so go ahead and do some damage. And you need to do concentration check. I didn't realize you're concentrating. Uh, so uh, he takes five. And he sprays a bunch of poison, uh, doing 13 to you, Tiny. Um, uh, I'm resistant, so I take half. Uh, yeah, so if you have poison resistance, then yes, you would only take six from that, which I believe you do as a dwarf. Oh, dwarves. All right, so that is it for him. Now the I'm big. I'm sorry, but yeah. Does he need to take? Does he need to do concentration? Uh, yes, and actually you have to mark yourself as concentrating tiny. Uh, but yeah, you have to make a con save. To see if you can hold your spell. So that's just a con save. Yeah, so you're fine. That's definitely fine. Alright, Big Troll uh, starts his turn in your field, so he has to make a con save. Or, sorry, a uh, wisdom save. Is, is he a wise troll? Uh, apparently he is. He's there apparently he is. a wise troll. Wow, he's a good wisdom save. Uh, so he would take six radiant. Uh, he will then regenerate, but only half regenerate because he did get burned. So he gains five hit points. Then he's going to casually step here. It's 10, 20, because difficult terrain. Uh, 25, or wait, sorry, he wants to stay in the threat range, so he moves 25 feet to there, and then he, huh? Do I get the swing? Huh? Get the swing? You can use your reaction, right? Oh, uh, all right, uh, we'll say he moves there, because he's trying to not leave anyone's threat in the squares, uh, and then he is going to use Whirlwind of Claws. Uh, I need a deck save from everyone within 10 feet of him. I'm not very good at that. I'm not too quite bad. As he just slashes no, wildly. No, I'm, not, I'm not passing that. You see 19. Jeez. Lord of that mercy. Alright, so it'll be 44 or 22 slashing. Uh, um, God damn. I'm going to... Uh, that's bad. I'm going to, so I got, he just have to meet the DC, right? Uh, um, yeah, you have to meet it, meet it, beat it. I am going to use Arcane Deflect on that. Oh, I just realized he hit his buddy too, because I don't think he can choose. Uh oh. Yeah, it doesn't say uh, of his choice. All right, so the, uh, big, the other big troll is going to make a deck save as well. Yeah, he failed as well, so he takes 44. These trolls are not very good friends to each other. And he's gonna splash more poison! So that means, um... Is this I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna know, but I'm gonna lose my spell too, I imagine. Uh, oh, I think he is. Uh, <laughs> so, Tiny... Uh, yeah, I don't think you can make that uh, save for... Uh, I'm gonna take my inspiration and um, I'll try and roll a natural point. 
All right, so you use, uh, are you using the story point inspiration or are you inspired right now? I, or it says I have my inspiration point. Okay, so you spend an inspiration uh, and you can make that. And you, uh, you and the big troll would both take six damage poison as well. Honestly, hold up. <laughs> hey, Outcast, how, what was your roll? What was your roll? Uh, like a 13. Alright, so yeah, you would lose your spell. 16 wouldn't oh, be high the enough. little plus 5 wouldn't help Or wait, me. did you, Yeah, I don't think you made the save. So yeah, you'd so, have to... 22 damage, you said? Uh, if you okay. save? Yeah, if you made it 22... Uh, or wait, is it half? Yeah, half as much on... So you took 22 if you uh, no. made the save. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, oh, I took a, a, I I did a big fat 44. All right, and let's see. Oh my god! Oh, wow! <laughs> no. Wait. So, what is the save actually? The save is what? Uh, Two? eleven. If because yeah. you made it. Uh, oh well, it looks like the rot troll actually made it, so he only takes twenty-two from the fury of claws. <laughs> They're all. They all look very angry at their boss, who just like went nuts there. His claws just go everywhere, all around him. Uh, so yeah, that uh, that's it for him, as he just slashes oh, everywhere. Well, the flaming sphere is gone too. Um, uh, Barrett, what are you gonna do? Your group just got torn up a bit. Yeah, they did. Well, I'll bonus action, I'll steady aim, and I'll hug a dagger at this cuck. Uh, which guy? The big troll, big okay. Boy. Big boy. All big right. Jumper. If I want advantage, oh, 24. Yeah, 24 will strike him. Uh, doing 17 and 5 psychic, 23. All right. Oh. I use my bonus action action, and I can't move. So that's, that's, uh, that's what I did. All right. The raw stupid. troll... He's going to run up to here. Uh, he's going to regenerate so he gains back some health. Anybody even hit him? Yeah, his boss did. His boss oh. hit him for 22. <laughs> yes, teammate did. He was very unhappy, but he's still... He's not going to... He doesn't mess with the king. There's a reason why he's the king. Uh, so he runs up to Barad, roaring at you, and is going to do a multi-attack. Clawing uh, 18 versus AC. Mm -hmm. Alright, so you are clawed for 6 slashing and 8 necrotic. The first attack. Oh, and actually, I, like I forget. Worse, this right? guy doesn't actually regenerate. He didn't gain back anything. He does something else. Uh, second attack. Claw 19. Oh, yeah. Alright, he's going to claw you for 17, 14, and 3. I'll use my reaction for that. Okay. Don't get any dodge. Take half, got it. So you take 8. And then a bite. 20. Oh, dear God, yeah. Alright, so you are bit for... Oh, that's so much worse. Yeah, the bite is uh, seems to be the nastiest as he does 27. 27? I should have used my candy dog with that one. Uh, well, now you know for next time. <laughs> at the oh. end of his turn, uh, you would... You and... Uh, you and Locoon are going to get hit for 9 necrotic. <laughs> yeah? 9? Yes. That uh, I'm down. Okay. All right. That is it from for the raw troll. Uh, Locoon. Fuck my world up. Ha. Huh. Okay. Oh. Unfortunately, I used uh, arcane deflect, so that means I I can't use any of my big spells for a turn. Um. Mm. I have to get out of here first. Um, I'm gonna just disengage and move 
I have something to do for Barrett here. Do you have something? Sorry, wrong button. Barrett's not yeah, dead yet. I know. But he um, looks very wounded. I guess Barrett can get out of there soon. Well, no, I go before him. My God, how'd you roll so low on the initiative? No, uh, I'm um, down. I'm unconscious. I, uh, I know. Um, okay. I will call out to Tiny um, in Outcast. Do you have a means to bring him back up? Yes, but I'm almost dead too, so I'm going to get the hell out of here. Let's make the way to the doorway. Um, and... Um, I'm going to disengage. I have to get out of here because I don't think I can uh, be much of use if I'm down too. All right. So I'm over here. I guess over here. All right. That so is my turn. Yep. You disengage and rush back to the door. Uh, nip -dob. Oh, Lord. All right. Serious moment. Who's a bigger threat here? Because I'm just going to firebomb somebody, damn it. Uh, the oh, guy. the big guy seems like he hit the hardest. Yeah. With all his claws. Focus down. Well, we're already. He's already wounded, so, like, let's not distribute everything. Let's not spread it all around. Yeah. But if we can get Barrett up, that would also help, too. Actually, the big guy wounded his own guys fighting you all. Yep. Alright, catapult. Yeah, this guy's at half. I just realized. Oh shit, wrong one. No, that's that's the description. Fuck. There we go. Alright, so you catapult uh a fire flask. One of your uh one of your fire things? Yeah, yeah. At the big guy? Yep, yep. Alright, yeah. so he has to deck save. As he's slashing everywhere, you suddenly uh, send a, what is it, like a glass vial of something? Yep, glass vial of uh, very, very explosive fluids. Because you can't solve literally nothing. Alright, so unfortunately, I think he made it. Uh, but it does keep going, and I think now it might hit him, right? Yep, straight line. Oh no. So that guy makes a deck save. Or did you want to fire it at him as well? It's just a straight line. If it misses the first, it just keeps going. Well, did you want to send it straight north to avoid the uh, the poison troll, or did you want to send it like diagonal to try to hit them both? Because uh, you know the poison troll does explode when he takes damage. Isn't that negated if he's on fire? Uh, no, that's this guy. If he is on fire, it negates his uh, pulsing of... But this guy, whenever he takes a hit, he, he just spews poison everywhere. Glorious. Hey, Tiny, how close to dead are you? Near death. Yeah, it's a crossbones. Yeah, he is near death right now. He's at crossbones on him. Yeah, damn it. Yeah, screw it. Straight north, then. Just on the wall. Alright, so that would just blow up over there. Uh, Alright, anything else for you, Nibnob? Uh, I got nothing. Uh, all right, Alcus. All right. Uh, I'm going to use my channel divinity, the one on the big guy, the one that gives me advantage. All right, so you channel uh, a bunch of that gives you yeah advantage on him. All right. Yeah. He is your foe. I'm gonna hope that I crit. <laughs> Yeah. I have elven accuracy, so it's a good chance I crit. Oh. Well, there's a chance oh, anyway. I, I get, I get, I get a third roll. Oh, <laughs> look at that! There we go. That is a and crit. Guess what? I'm gonna smite him because I really need him to be dead. All right. So um, there's that. What level smite? The uh, second level. So that is sixty-six. Uh, and here. just for my OCD, could you add slashing damage to your macro whenever you have a chance? Just because it doesn't mark the damage. Do uh, but 15, ooh, uh, 15, 39, nice hit. Uh, so yeah, you, uh, lay into this guy as there is a big 
blast of energy. Uh, he stumbles back, looking very wounded. Uh, anything else? I got one more attack. Hopefully okay. I critic it. Or he does. Second attack. 18, uh, 18. Well or my elven accuracy. No crit. I mean, that's the one that crit last is... time. Uh, I think I... I really want to make sure he's dead, so I'm probably going to smite him again, but only first level this time. Okay, so an extra 2d6. Dong. Another flash of energy as you Dong. slash him again, uh, doing 12 plus 3d8 radiant. Whoa. Sorry. Uh, well, it's uh, d8, not d6. Well, I rolled d6s. I even rolled d6s on the last one. <laughs> oh, did you? Oh, you, rolled <laughs> oh, you did. Uh, yeah, it's supposed to be d8s. Uh, so go ahead let and roll. I'll let you reroll this one to two d8s. It was lower. <laughs> of course <laughs> it was. Yeah. Wah, wah. Can, I, can I keep uh, the 11? No, no. <laughs> Poor crap. Uh, so you deal 20 points. Sure, you can keep the 11. Uh, you deal 23 points of damage, uh, which is not enough to kill him, but he does look very angry at you. Uh, anything else? No, that's all I got. I was with Obi, he was gonna die. Tiny. Okay, uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I am going to use one of my superiority die for evasive footwork. Okay, go ahead and link it. Nice. Okay. So is that last until the next round or something? Or as long as I'm moving. Let's him run away. Until you stop him. moving. Yeah, so it lasts while you're taking it hoppies. Okay, so where are you moving to? I am going to... Get to bed. Alright, so this guy is going to take an oppy on you, the uh, big troll. Not the big troll, the uh, poison troll. Uh, he will do a bite attack. Nope, 12's going to miss you. You said you run over to where? 5, 10. So that's 25 feet to get here. Yep, that's what my can run right through him, actually. Oh, then oh, bears are there. Uh, yeah, he is big enough, but running through him would be difficult terrain. Yeah. Uh, I think I'd be better off on that. I'd be fine. Um, and then I'm going to, uh, cast, uh, uh, healing word. Wong. Alright. So you, uh, are targeting Barad? Yes. Alright. At third level? Ooh. Cool. Alright, so Barrett, you regain 9 as a uh, holy energy courses through you. Uh, you're prone and, uh, yeah, on, like on the floor, but you are at least conscious. Anything else, Tiny? Uh, yeah. And then I, I am going to uh, Sacred Flames, this big bastard. Alright. So you send some radiant energy at the large troll, which he'll try to dodge. Uh, he would fail, and that would bring him down. Nice. As he falls over, uh, seared by radiant energy. Anything else? Nope, that's all I can do. Alright, bogger. Cool. I think that's... 45 feet of movement there. So I am going to. Oh, wait. I just. Well, since he, since Big Guy died, I get some health back, by the way. From the curse. Uh, you would notice he is still regenerating. Oh, let me take that away. Anybody got fire? Uh, but he, he would still. Benefit. Yeah, you still get the curse benefit. I still get the curse benefit, guys. Never mind. Oh. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Cool. Well, let me see the curse. What exactly does it say? Uh, 
it says when he dies. Oh. So if he's not dead, then I don't get it. And he's still cursed. But... Uh, yeah, he isn't technically dead, so actually, no, you wouldn't get it. If it's if it's on death only, then yeah, you wouldn't get that. Back down to where I was. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Alright, I'm gonna get to there and uh, try to punch this guy. This guy? Yes. Uh, yeah, 21 will punch him. And I'm gonna try to stun him. Okay. So he takes nine. Well, wait. Hang on, actually. Uh, yeah, so Probably he does not eight. take uh, any necrotic. He's immune to necrotic. Oh. But he takes seven from the punch. Uh, and a Kahan save? Yep. Oh, he is stunned. Nice. He just saved Barrett. Holy shit. And I will say, Barrett, GTFO. And I'll <laughs> yeah, there, buddy. Punch him one more time. Do you uh, have fire yeah. first? Can you punch the big guy? <laughs> no, he's, well, he's not fire first. I ain't got no fire none. Um, and then I'll bonus action. All right, so deal. Another nine damage, uh, and then the twenty-six strikes, doing another seven damage. Cool. And that was movement, action, bonus action. Oh, I meant to open that door. My bad. Sorry, friends. <laughs> Alright. Uh, the Venom <laughs> Troll is gonna go blah, 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 blah. Come down this way. Oh, no. Go away. Actually, he's gonna move one more for maximum annoyance with that poison splash. Uh, and then he is going to attack... The Paladin uh, Alcaz, because he saw you bring down the big guy. In my defense, I, I, I was the one who technically downed him. All right, so you blocked the first one. Yeah, I guess that's true. Well, he saw you, uh, like, just explode I him with energy. I still respect his judgment, though. Yeah. He still misses, <laughs> thankfully. Uh, 19 almost hits you, but luckily you dodge. And a big bite. Arm. Ooh, 21. Uh, I think that I'm gets gonna you. I'm going to have to... Sh I... You got shield? You cast shield, but it's going to have to be a second level. Alright. <laughs> I don't have any first level spots. Is that what you're doing? Yeah. Yep, yeah, I'm going to shield it. Alright, so luckily you throw up a force wall, knocking him back as he goes in to bite you in the face. I want a chance of surviving the All right, big so guy's attack if he gets up. Yeah, spend your reaction. That's probably a good um, spend, because, yep, he is going to stand back up. As he would actually regen... Uh, 10. And then he is going to swing at Alcaz. Or wait, actually, does he recharge his whirlwind? Oh, uh, I hope not. The Hang answer on. is no. It's okay. Hang on. I already read. Have you foreseen it? Oh, oh you are so lucky. No, he does not. <laughs> he rolled a 4. Oh, thank you, Lord. Uh, so he is going to go for Alcaz because he did not like that smiting. Yeah, guys, I have a very high oh, AC. Four claw attacks? Uh, yeah, that would miss you because of the shield going. Oh, man, that was a good call, Alcaz. Ooh, 26. Oh, All right, so clawed for 21. Oh. I'm oh. still up. <laughs> oh my god. Shh, shh, uh, shh, shh, oh no! Uh, and Claude for 14. Holy shit. Oh, I did not say that 28. Oh, so he god. just jumps on Alcaz, slashing with all his arms, uh, and Alcaz goes down. Barrett. Uh, did Nibnob hit him at all? Uh, Nibnob did hit. No, Nibnob missed with his oh, uh, shot. Thunder Gauntlets. Okay. No, he cool. shot the uh, the thing at him, which... Uh, oh, lightning launcher. That's right. My bad. Or his, uh, whatever it is, like the um, catapult. catapult. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. My I bad. I remember the down symbol, y'all. Uh, Alright. <laughs> the raw troll is stunned. Uh, oh, it's me first. Oh, oh sorry. It's yeah, me it's the rot troll. Uh, Barry would Barrett. stand up. Yeah. Barry would move. Five, ten, fifteen feet right here. Pull out 
his flame tongue, say its word as a bonus action, and uh, attack. As he jumps on Alcaz. Uh, yeah, 16 will strike. Uh, all right. 11 fire. Ah, oh, oh, wouldn't it also do slashing? Is that in there? Uh, it would. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it does both. 1d4 plus 2d6, okay. Yeah, it should be in there. Uh, so that, fire. that will bring him down as uh, he does not see you coming as he's too busy ripping apart uh, your buddy there. Um, and yeah, he uh, goes down. The burn's uh, keeping him from rising again. Uh, now the dire troll goes. He's stunned. Let's see. Are you in range for this? I don't think you are. Yeah, it's five feet. Uh, all right, so yeah, he's pulsing with energy, uh, but luckily you are not within range, so you don't take any damage. Uh, Locoon. Does this um, stun one look... Is he still stunned, or no? He's stunned until... Yeah, until the end of my turn. Yeah. Okay, does he look like he has, like, long reach, or no? No. Also, weren't you adjacent to this guy? Adjacent? No. I was behind his... I was on this side. Boys. I thought he specifically moved so he could get adjacent to you. Oh, wow. I don't know. That's, That's I weird. Did, I moved here. Uh, all right. To watch the replay. Yeah, I thought you were... <laughs> I thought you were just right here. Um, all right, well... Was, uh, my mirror image. All right. Um, I think I'm a big coach. Yeah, it's your turn. Okay. Um, I'm going to cast. I'm going to stand over here. And um, maybe I lagged or something. Yeah. Um. Well, I think we need fire here. Um, Give me the hair. So I'm going to. What do you mean, tiny? The hair? I only have nine hit points, so I can't say that. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, He's around everybody. Flaming Sphere, but I can't do it against the Poison one uh, right now. I will <laughs> also sure? cast this. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I cast this one at the third level, and uh, it's pretty crappy damage. Uh -oh. the, um, I'm going to go for the one that's... Um, Stunned? Yeah, stunned. Alright, so he can't dodge it because he's stunned, so he just takes 7 fire damage. Yep. And he and... is not pulsing anymore. Okay. Oh, I gotta delete the old Flaming Sphere one and add the new one. Um, and I'm going to <coughs> close the door here. And move around wow. the corner. Well, there's somebody who wants to survive. Worst case scenario. All right, so you back <laughs> off into the back hallway over there. Yep. All right, anything else? That is it for me. Nib knob. I mean, let's see. I can't hit the damn this man again. Well, you know if you hit him, he will spew poison all over Tiny and your downed ally. Oh. Yeah. Uh, the other one's stunned, so you would have advantage on attacks, and uh, he can't make saving throws. Or at least not uh, deck saves. Alright, so you have advantage on these. Meow. Map 21 would strike. Doing 8 thunder. Uh, yeah, 23 hits with another punch. Or 10, which is going to wound that one. As uh, the gonna... blasts of energy uh, just almost knock him off his feet. Can I say something psychically uh, at a turn? Uh, as long as it's not more than six seconds. Um, I want to remind Barrett that uh, the psychic uh, daggers don't cause the 
acid troll to the floor or whatever. Acid. Poison troll? Yeah. I remember. I didn't. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Alcus, you are unfortunately uh, very hurt. Uh, Alright, so you, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know what you rolled. Uh, Tiny, what are you going to do? Well, where do I go with it? That's the symbol. Um, if I use the ring on somebody, that's an action, right? What ring? The uh, uh, stove throwing ring. Uh, I think it depends on the spell you cast, yes. but I believe so. Be it cure wounds? Yeah, cure wounds would be an action. Because I think it depends on the spell, which, yeah, cure wounds would be an action. Then I'm going to do it this way, then. I am going to um, reach down and I don't have to touch him. I, I point a finger and these healing word on Alcus. Wow. Well, all right. So Alcus. Uh, you would gain how much? Well, better than nothing. It's job, it's job. All I got left is first level swaps. So. All right. And then uh, bonus action. That was a bonus action, so I will cast a cantrip at the other one. Uh, okay. At uh, which one? The one is stunned. All right, that's what I assumed. I just wanted to double check. So I'm a jerk. I mean, you said it. <laughs> All right, so he cannot make that. So you sear him for seven. Uh, that it for you. Um, uh, Looks like you're out of time. Did I use, did I use my uh, superiority? No, no, I'll stay here. I'll stay here and protect office. All right, Bogger. Um, what's the rule with like grappling people bigger than me? Uh, it's just the grapplers' yeah. athletics versus. Uh, athletics or acrobatics chosen by the defender, and you can grapple something up to one size uh, larger than you. Two sizes so you can. I, uh, would I be able to like shove this guy? Uh, yeah, you could do a shove attack, which isn't a grapple, but it's the same idea. It would but, be your strength versus his strength or dex, his choice. Cool. The only time it's advantage or disadvantage is overrun or tumble. Cool. Then I will try to shove him. Alright. So he is going to use strength to defend. For obvious reasons. Doesn't look very uh, acrobatic. Athletics? Yep. Alright, so your first oh, push uh, just kind of like blurbles his stomach as you push against it and he just goes burp and it jiggles yeah. him. Oh, that didn't work. Uh, then you... I'll try to uh, grapple him. Okay, with your second Here's... attack. Uh, well, uh, yeah, I'll try to shove him. Or, well, yeah, I'll shove him again. All right, so he'll do another athletics. Uh, oh, oh, that didn't work. Oh, wow. He would, uh, yeah, you catch him off guard. Brrr, he goes flying back 10 feet with a shove. Sweet. As he stumbles from the uh, surprise second push. Even though it is his turn next. Anything else? Uh, so. You could still move if you want to go engage him. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll, uh, run up here, uh, 
Bonus actions. Dodge. Okay, so you spend a key to dodge as a bonus. Yeah, and then I'll uh, turn to Tiny and Alcus and say, get away. I think Barrett and I can handle this one. All right. Well, unfortunately for his turn, he's just going to move back up here to try to uh, get engaged uh, with everyone again. Yeah, I know. But he will go for you because he didn't like that shove. Yeah. Uh, 15, 15 misses. misses. Oh, 20? 20 hits. Yeah. Right. So the second claw is going to get you for 13 damage. And a bite. Oof, good rolls for him. Yeah. Uh, bite's going to hit you for another 11. Uh, and you are poisoned. Which means I can't heal. Uh, that's it for him. The dire troll's dead. Barret. And then this guy's not stunned anymore, yeah? Yeah, he is no uh, longer stunned. I <laughs> am not in a great position. Uh, he has I don't think any of us are. He has disadvantage on everything except me right now. I'm just going to get whacked, honestly. If he attacks, yeah. yeah. Yeah, if he attacks... Uh... Uh, he will uh, have disadvantage on anyone but Nibnob. Good try. He's wounded. If anything, I see stab and burn his ass with plain tongue. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, so yeah, if you don't, you know that he will start pulsing again. At least next oh. turn. His radiation turns back on if he doesn't keep taking fire. Oh, well, uh... I can't. Uh, okay. But the other one does require uh, psychic damage to not spray out yeah. and poison everywhere. I know, I know. So I you're, know, but you got some choices to make. I'm gonna attack this one. All right. The flame tongue. So you come up with the flame tongue. Yeah, 19's gonna strike, and Nibnob's distraction will give you sneak. 32. 32. Nice. Uh, he is badly wounded. Aw. I was hoping he was dead as fuck. Alright, and then I'll bonus action disengage. And go. I have already gone 5, so 10, 20, 30. Oh, wait. 10, 20. 25, 30. Right? No. Is this a rest That's in peace 20. and Nimnod moment? Uh, if you oh, end yeah, there, the sure. uh, the flaming spear will burn you. Wait, I have one, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you are safely Sorry, no, away no. from the sphere. <laughs> uh, action too, right? Or no? That was his bonus uh, action. I disengaged. Oh. Yeah. Oh, nice. All you right. Drop me in one turn, man. So oh, the God. rot troll, Noah, he's tired of your crap. He's going after you. Nib Nobby get Noppy. Uh, Kill him, Nib Nob. <laughs> Stop him, Nib Nob. That would be very, Trump's... very useful if he did. Yeah, might get a disadvantage thing on him. Uh, thunder. Yeah, 23 oh, will strike yeah. him. For a million hit points. Hold up, I'll even, what do you mean million? I wish. I don't know. You're yeah, right, 999,999. Let's go. I mean, I mean, I could put down Fury the Small with it. That's pretty much it. <laughs> All right. I bet the extra four right there. So, 11 oh. points of damage. That's not going to drop him, but that isn't. No. That, that ain't nothing. Uh, so, that was your reaction. He's going to come up this way. Oh, rawr, 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 rawr. And he's going to attack you with disadvantage. Yeah. Disadvantage. Thirteen misses. Yeah, because uh, Nibnob's thunder gauntlets, his yeah, ears are ringing. Uh oh, oh miss. Bear, bear. Oh, disadvantage oh. saves you. All right. So yeah, he's uh, he's kind of wobbly from that thunder explosion, uh, and he misses Nibnob. with all three. I can't even. Uh, Locoon, are you okay, uh, Baird? No, I'm good. <laughs> Open a door. Can't take the stress. Um. Oh. 
Okay, here we go. I'm going fine. Uh, so, I'm going to send the lightning sphere and smash it into him. All right. So that is a. What level did I cast this at? The third level. Yeah, it was third. Uh, 3d6. All right, so he'll go, huh? As he tries to dodge it. Uh, he would dodge it, but taking half, he'll take six. He's still up? Uh, he is still up, uh, and his uh, burning continues. That dude, thank you. So, hey. I can move over here with the rest of my movement, and I'm going to throw a firebolt against him. All right. Firebolt goes streaming towards him. Yeah, 23 will strike him. Uh, 13 is enough. Beautiful. He is scorched and goes down. The smell right. of burnt troll fresh flesh emanating throughout the room. Uh, anything else, That's Lacoon? My That's my turn now. All right, Nibnob. Hmm. I mean, hold up. Let's see. Listen, I'm. Uh, I mean, I can't, I can't hit the big bag because you're gonna get whacked essentially. I just think all that. three of us would. You do that. know that, yeah? He'll just throw poison all over all the near dead people. You could uh, assist someone else in combat, like a uh, familiar. Give uh, someone else an advantage. Do you, have a, do you have a push by any chance? Yes, I do. Perfect. All right, I'm going to move up and just give him an assist on this. Screw it. All right, so I think for assist, you do have to be adjacent to the troll, and basically it would give someone... Oh, no. Advantage on their next attack. Oh, yeah, you know, uh, you can also stabilize. You could take too, the. Yeah. If you have a good, if you have a, you have a good berry. Um, well, maybe no, he's a, uh, he's awake. He's at four. Oh, it looks yeah. like he's unconscious. He just didn't take the, uh, the mark off himself yet. But yeah, he's alive. All right, all right. Uh, you could just dodge. Give like, give someone a potion. Yeah, like does does anyone have a push other than Tiny? Well, the, I'm not the is, pushing guy. Uh, other thing you can do is ready a, a cantrip uh, for when he's out of range of everybody. That's another thing. Yeah, it's pretty much all I got. Just moving blade effectively. Oh wow. Okay. Oh well, that would require you to be next to him anyway, right? <laughs> yep, that's yeah, literally that's all I have. Way. Well, like, right. if we push him. He's just going to move back towards y'all. Y'all should right. just dodge. So, yeah, I'll say you take the dodge because you're out of time. Yeah, Nimnob is, is dodging. Alcus. Alright, well, I'm going to misty step over here. Alright, poof. Are you going to stand up hold... first? No, I'm going to stand up first. I thought that was obvious. <laughs> I, misty I, you know. crawl. And crawl to the mist. Yeah, and I think I'll do that too. <laughs> just crawls away. Oh yeah, and you yeah, you can contest, yeah. you can Some delete those belief. too. Uh, that one, but I am still exhausted. And I'm gonna send a hold and eldritch blast till it's safe to shoot him. All right, so mark yourself as concentrating as you ready an eldritch blast. Tiny. For some. Okay, I mean I can't I can't use my superior dice uh, because that does damage. Yep. So yep. I'm just gonna do a normal push. With All right. right. Shove attack. So he's going to use strength, obviously. Oh, if he was uh, just doing that, just a regular shove, he could, Nimnop could have assisted him from not adjacent to the troll, I believe. Uh, but it doesn't matter. Sorry. I, uh, I well, the troll rolled very poorly. Uh, oh, yeah. So you, bro, you just slam your shoulder into him, knocking him back, uh, which him. will trigger the ranged option for you. Pew, pew. Uh, 28 blasts him once, or oh, seven, his seven poison spews on no one. Uh, and that, uh, yeah, second shot. Yeah, you oh, would I, actually, I actually cast, 
Yes, because Eldritch Blast oh. casts two. Uh, oh. It's not two attacks, it's casting two. Uh, yeah, 21. That's why, like, um, if he dies with one of the blasts, like, you can't change it mid-blast. Uh, but 21 oh. will hit him for another six, spraying more poison on no one. Anything else? I got this up on his mum. Uh, oh yeah, I guess that is technically still your turn. Uh, Alright, so anything else tiny? Action's got uh, second win, give me eight more points. Alright, so you regain some health. Uh, and then and I'm going to action surge. Okay. What do you need to do with your extra action? Just push him again. <laughs> when all else fails, I, I push him. I'd have to run up to him to do that, so... Um, uh, I, am, I am actually going to... Drink a potion? Just uh, cast a spell. Okay. Oh, uh, that's true. You could just do a cantrip. Uh, so you throw a... What, a uh, searing flame or something? Sacred flame. Sacred flame. Uh, all right, so he'll try to dodge that. Oh, he will not, taking five points and looking very unhappy with you for all this uh, brute force. And, um, man, I need to move. Hey, yeah, get out of there. All right, you back it's up. Possible. Uh, Bogger. Uh, I'm going to punch him. Yeah, luckily you can do that from far away. Uh, yeah, 24 will strike. Doing 13 on the first one. Uh, cool. Second attack. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, 17 strikes again, and that will actually bring him down. Yeah, okay. Oh, thank God. Nice. Uh, Anything else? I am gonna turn to everybody and say, fuck that. Not cool. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, for his turn, he stands back up. <laughs> because, yep, troll. Uh, and he's gonna run at you. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> well, he would have moved away. He didn't say he was moving. He's okay. turned around and was like, fuck this. And the guy is like, horror movie. <laughs> Thing and just like blah, stands back up behind him. Then we just see the oh, troll man. rise up behind him. What the hell? This is bullshit. I think I'm guessing you forgot he had regeneration. Ah, yeah. Uh, oh no! It is a horror oh, movie. No. Re, 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 yeah, I mean, re. He would have hit me eventually with one of his three attacks. Uh, so twelve still up. still up slashes you. Uh, 16, I believe, misses. That misses. And, oh, so you dodge the other two. Wow. Looking very wounded, wow. but still alive. Barred. <laughs> so you can, uh, you can get that, uh, flaming sphere on him, right? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, I will, um... Kill it with fire! <laughs> yeah. Well, I oh will God, not do fire. fire. I'm just gonna bonus action steady aim through a psychic blade at him so I don't miss thank you all right so as he's getting <laughs> right ooh. if that misses no, I that that, use, that actually uh, does hit just barely it uh, does okay yeah good, good. it was like i have a thing for that all right so just as he's getting ready to slash you again just like nose bleeds everywhere and he falls over dead <laughs> uh but he is still healing so we'll go to new round uh locoon Alright, uh, with my action, I'm gonna drag Bogger out of the way. <laughs> Get away from uh, Bogger. And I can move back, uh, I can drag him over here, I think. Yeah, that's fine. So you grab him with your action. Yeah. And I'll move with my bonus action, I'll, uh, start. Alright, so the flaming sphere just, like, 
Just like ring around the rosy for all my other turns after yep. that. I'm just gonna burn the shit out of him. Alright. Yeah. So he is very burned as combat ends. What do you all wanna do? I want this these dire trolls heads. Uh the <laughs> no, uh, well, there's only one dire troll. You mean just the troll heads? Yeah, oh, you meant heads, oh his heads. Uh, all right, it'll take some time to cut his heads off, but he how wants to start. How, how much do each of those weigh? Uh, <clears throat> I don't know. Probably about we'll wrap them up in something twenty thirty ish pounds. So pretty big. Or together. Uh, probably each. They're pretty big. How do you, what's encumbered again? I mean, how much does a human head weigh? I don't know. I want to look that, that up. That'll put me on a list. Um. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, that's like 14 pounds. Maybe uh, we collect heads. their... Assets. I don't know. I don't know why Alcus knows that, but I won't question it. So, oh, yeah, I mean, he's a, he's a huge creature, so his head's like the size of a torso. So, yeah, his head's probably like, like 30-ish. Oh, I was wrong. It's 11. <laughs> So yeah, we'll say like double to triple the size of a human head. Uh, how do we put Outclap in charge so that he's allied with us and thinks, you know, uh, well, along the same I, lines? Of that's a good question. Long. I think, um, well, let's let's get back up there and, and, and take a long rest and uh, yes. Alcas, uh <laughs> You know, if we bump into outcasts, I mean, they don't have a king now, and probably there's a, a power vacuum. Is there a uh, symbol he carries on him uh, that shows that he's king, like a ring, a crown? Uh, Do you want to search body, these bodies? Yeah, yeah. We'll search the bodies. Yeah. All right. Uh, um, I got an idea for the head. I could pull out my uh, portable forge. So, <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Uh, so Turn that forge into a barbecue, boy. <laughs> so the uh, the the king troll actually does have like a large sack on his belt. Um. So if you take a look, let me see something. Just in case, I'm going to use my. Uh, Sounds like we didn't need to bring back a third little spell. This is an old list. Uh, I really hope this troll has some really good stuff on him. <laughs> like, uh, so, Alcus, Alcus and Nibdom, give me d20 rolls. Oh god, what now? Hey, with d20, okay. Do you have your wish lists? Made. Yeah, I have one. Yeah, I have one. Okay. Uh, Hold on, give me a second. My fucking Windows is having a seizure. <laughs> roll 20. I had to put. Oh, oh, I fucking lost anyways. God damn it, fuck me. Uh, you roll, I always lose. That, that's a 20. You didn't roll a d20. <laughs> oh, you fucking <laughs> oh, okay. nice, nice, GM. Nice try. I, I'm I'm oh I'm familiar I'm familiar with I'm familiar <laughs> with this trick. I said to what I believed. I was like, damn! I, I was like, damn! I lost. That's why they pay me the big bucks. So I know about your <laughs> yeah, rolling do. twenty. I recognize cheetahs. There we go. Seventeen. Try this one new trick. Oh, I GMs still lost. Hate GMs hate this trick. I rolled the GM, but I, I got less than a seventeen. Uh, did you roll to me? I don't see a roll from you. Oh no! I, I lied. I didn't roll. What are you talking about? You I didn't roll anything. But, uh, uh, I, I, it doesn't matter, guys. I rolled the exact Damn. same number in public. All right. So, so Nib Knob, you said you had a wish list. Yeah, it's in the it's in the role play section, I think. Let me take a look. Yeah, Yo, be noob, you're gonna gain a two minute item. You can't even use. No, no, it's in the party shit. There it is. Uh, give me a D100 roll. Yeah, okay. I stay losing these rolls. Not bad. Uh, so... Uh, it looks like... 
there is uh, some sort of weird looking jug in the uh, out or in the sack on the uh, troll king. Some weird no. like clay jug. Uh, there's also a couple of kind of smelly looking gems in there. Or, well, they're gems, but yeah, they look like uh, they're in a bunch of filth. Or I'll just type right. them out. Type them out for me. So that's what you find in the uh, sack on the uh, on the dead troll king. You also know that with nature you can take essence from giants I or giant you. kin. Uh, you don't have to be trained, but obviously uh, being trained will get you more essence usually. Well, you know, at least I have a, a good chance of getting the next one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have a pretty like good chance. Like a 100% chance. chance. Pretty good chance at this point. I wrote a 16, I was like, yo, that's pretty good. And then he wrote a 17. I was like, man, I hate everything. So you would have disadvantage, long... but, uh, so you would collect, well, <clears throat> he's, uh, so Nibnob is getting some essence. Is anyone doing anything else while he's doing that? I'm Fine. removing the, the three heads. Uh, you're removing the heads. heads. What are you I'm using to do that? Just your knife? Okay, so you're <laughs> just kind of hacking at this... Yeah, a huge neck with your dagger, just sawing at it. It'll probably take a little bit, uh, but yeah. you're working on that. that. Oh, it's a Bogger help. Oh, look at that. Bogger's on it. All right, so you do get some essence. I'll put it in the chat. Uh, who's taking the Emerald Ruby and Strange Jug? Just uh, out of curiosity. Uh, I shall take the jug. That's all right with everybody. Loot? Come on now, peoples. You, you just got the magic list. item. Yeah. <laughs> you fucking greedy. Fucking... So take the jug. But uh, what were the other gems? Uh, I put them in chat. Okay. Uh... How much does the jug usually weigh? Was that also on your wish list? Or was that just like general stuff? It's just general stuff. Uh, the jugs are... Uh, essentially alchemy materials on command. Yeah, well, obviously that goes to you. Um, so the general stuff, uh, do you want me to put it in the general ledger? Um, yeah, that seems best. Uh, okay, 12. Well, there's some essence. <clears throat> Who's taking the essence? And that's going in the ledger. Yeah, I, I'm honestly going to make a tab that's just for all the essence for everybody, basically. Cause... Yeah, and the lower level essence, you can just make those into components. Because uh, you probably won't need to craft anything with those. But I mean, it's up to you what you all want to do. <clears throat> Alright, Dire Troll. Uh, what did you roll? 19... Are you sure? So the Dire Troll actually has some pretty valuable essence. I would hope so. Indeed. He's a very powerful opponent, as they say. And uh, finally, the Venom Troll. Shit. Shit. I, I, I so I pull out. This will be the first time you see the portable board, by the way. So I'll pull it out, open it up, we can throw the head in there so it won't stink up my bag of holding. And no one has uh, a poisoner's kit, right? Because you can actually get venom off venom trolls if you have poisoner's kit proficiency. I don't think I do. Uh, there, yeah. most, there are three heads. Mo most people don't. I think, like, Assassins get it, and you can take it if you learn it, but yeah, most people don't have it. Then one, two ball heads together, cut it off at the neck. 
<laughs> I was gonna ask Nibnob because he has so much room in his bag of holding. It's only gonna be sixty to ninety pounds. Right. Well, Borg to hold it. Okay. Yeah. It shrinks back. So oh, those so those are the okay. essences. All right. No, no. I'll um, I'll take the heads. I'll take the heads. But I want you to give me one good reason. Give me one good reason. It's a loop. It's gonna be furniture and trophies. All right. So. So you get the three troll heads as well. The trophies. Sentimental trophies. I'll say uh, maybe ten minutes has passed. Yeah, I mean, Loco will explain to Nib Nob, like, the, <laughs> our house back in Char and how there's, like, I don't know what heads are in there, but... This Ogre and a stone golem. I mean, you could probably use leather working to, what's it called, um, was it it's taxidermy? A, you know, yeah, I think you yeah, could taxidermy. Like it's kind of like put it up on the lodge. put it up yeah, on the wall, up on, on the mantle on top of the mantle. And I mean, a dire the troll kill is pretty uh, is pretty impressive. Yeah. All right. So yeah, you get the three heads. All right, I'll take the heads. Yes. Uh, they are thirty pounds each, so they're very heavy. Yeah. Ninety. <sighs> I can carry one of them probably. If I put them in the portable uh, forge, they won't weigh nothing. Put them in what? The portable fort. Would that burn them? Wait, why would they not weigh nothing in the portable forge? Because it, it, it is able to hold its fuel and supplies. Uh, is that an actual magical item, or did we like make that specially for you? It was an actual magic item, but the actual, actual magic item actually does more than what we discussed. Uh, let me look up Horrible Forge. But yeah, what do you uh, what do you want to <laughs> do? I don't know if you could just stick anything in there and have it weigh nothing. That seems a little weird. Well, I mean, we got the back of We got it. It's or wait, fine. is this Thank a you. uh? Yeah, I'll I'll look into it later. Um, but yeah, we could say if you're putting uh, the bag of holding, that's fine. I think we're just going upstairs to to rest. Yeah, yeah. we're fucked up. All right, so the group is falling back for now. Going back. Can we go the other way where there's no trolls to the crystal ballroom? Or no, we can make it. We're fine. Yeah, I mean, the stairwell's right here. All right, so I'll just delete your tokens. Hang on. So you, you don't have to move to the stairwell. It's right there. Okay, I got four HP. We're chilling. Oh, I'm doing better than you. Yeah, I want to heal you more, but... All right, so up the stairs, uh, you go up the stairs quite a ways, getting to the previous area, and you would find a bunch of the Iron Tide there. They've set up like a spear wall as you come up there. Looks like they've been fighting back a bunch of trolls. Uh, I know you're already in the throne room, but you would come in here. Uh, the <coughs> the Iron Tide would recognize you and say, uh, quickly, move through. We'll, uh, we'll keep our spears at the ready. Letting you go back to the uh, laboratory over here. Uh, hey, where it looks like uh, Chiron has set up. It looks like the glass sphere, but it couldn't be the one down there. You're assuming it's uh, what you would use to teleport back down. Uh, so, what do you want to do? I'll, I'll tell Orcar to maybe just come back to the throne room throne room because I'm going to set up a tiny hut like right at this door. Um, okay, so you tell him to have his guys fall back, which he nods and uh, they all come back to the laboratory. And, and then uh, I'm going to put up a hut. Okay. Yeah, I, I need a rest. rest. You got any uh, spells left, Lutum? I do. I used, I used up my shields. How many you need? Uh, just two. Okay, I'll expend two first level slots, put two shields in his thing. Okay. And uh, yeah. then I'm going to use my last two uh, slots to uh, cure some wounds on uh, our friends here, Elpis. All right. <clears throat> So if you um, identify the jug, or I assume someone was identifying the jug, right? I'll identify it if you want to. Yeah. Do you have identify? Uh, if you don't, I'll do it. 
So it is indeed an alchemy jug. Sweet. Nice, you can throw more acid, I guess. Fire flasks. All the acid. Let's get drunk! <laughs> yeah, you can make mayonnaise if you want. Two gallons of mayonnaise. Anyone who needs two <laughs> gallons of mayonnaise cannot be trusted. They're obviously insane. It's probably true. We can get we can four, four gallons of yeah, beer, though. We had a butter, you know that, right? Yeah, you could get a bunch of beer. Uh, so did you say you were healing someone? Yeah. I'm putting on Alkish. All right, so Alkish, you would regain the uh, uh, 13 points of health, feeling a bit better. And then my other third little spell I got back is going back in the ring. Going the okay. Ring and we're attempting to pass uh, just the rest of the night, right? Yeah, we're tired. Yeah, what, what, what time is it? Uh, it's about 6 o'clock in the evening right now. Okay. Well, a little bit later in the evening, I would like to send out an arcane eye. I have one of those left. All right. So first an hour would pass, just in case anyone wants to do any short resting. Uh, oh. So, yeah, that would pass without issue. So if you want, you can short rest. Uh, it is now 7.55, or sorry, 6.55. Yeah, I'm going to do that to get my fire stuff back at least. Okay. You never, you never know. You never know. Can I retroactively um, figure this out later, but not like during this time, but uh, scrolls that I want to start scribing? Because I do have some scrolls to scribe, and I just don't want to... Put everybody in this inventory oh. mini session. Well, <laughs> you know, I was gonna actually. Oh wow, it's already eight. Uh, I was gonna say we could take a short break because uh, I have to use the bathroom. Oh, um, use the bathroom. So yeah, let me let me do that, and you can think of what scrolls you want to do. Uh, I'll be back. I also I'm gonna remove some scrolls from this. Oh yeah, Look. you got your scrolls from me. Yeah, you hoarder. <laughs> that's 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 not the ro the robe of plenty. That's the robe the robe of the hoarder. There's also oh. two mastiffs, four healing potions. Keep the mastiffs. You know, until we find a nice field for those mastiffs to run around in, I think they need to stay in there. The shadow. They're this my areas. healing they potions. Be might be pets. good. Healing potions yeah. might be good to distribute, but that's all up to you. The Mastiffs are really interesting too. Nimnov probably could ride one into battle. Yeah, a little bit, and they could be trained actually. Yo, Nimnov, you could be a battlesmith slash alchemist slash armorer or whatever. Fuck, I don't know. There, yeah, there are three level one Nimnob. spells on here. My uh, character on Thursday night's game rides a uh, alpaca into battle. Yeah, I Mechanical see it. That's alpaca. Awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. I oh, I always that. thought if I I I um I always thought if I played a uh, I like the Battlesmith. I think it's a pretty well designed um artificer class. Yeah. And I always felt like uh, if I made one that I'd be riding my guy would be riding a robotic chicken. You know. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. The only, the only thing that I don't like. I mean, the, the Battlesmith. He gets two attacks, like, at sixth level, like regular fighters do. I think the Forge Cleric should also get two attacks. Yeah. You know, being what it does. Well, uh, that would be the uh, War Cleric. War Cleric gets something like that. Let's see. I mean, I could I could make the the homunculus low-key on the long rest. Don't do much, but extra spells. Oh, is, you, is your alchemy jug attunement or non-attunement? It's on a tune, uh, right? Yeah, it's on a tune. Nice. Or it doesn't need to tune it, I think. Yeah, it doesn't need it. Nice. Well, that's one of the things you can make, ain't it? Uh, yeah. the alchemy dog? Yeah, can you? I thought you could. No. Nah. I it was one of the replicate uh, magic items. It, uh, let me check it. It is. It is one of the replicate, but you gotta take it to begin with. Yeah, I'd have I'd, to get rid of something. You might want to use your... I mean, it's, it's not like uh, infinite, so you probably want to use it for your shields and armor, and etc. anyway, so... Hmm. Let's see... 
Now you can only have so many at a time, but you can pick a list. I get two extra ones on next level. Let's see. I don't know when the last time I, I got to roll on a treasure chest. It's been a long time. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know. I rolled twice and I lost twice. It was back when we were playing Trouble and Char <coughs> Chart. <coughs> I think. Did I get something back then? Because I don't remember. Uh, I, don't I must remember have. Either, cause... But you you have a, a crap ton of stuff, though. I do have so much <laughs> shit. <Yeah>. <laughs> what I need is a way to get my AC up, because that's, that's awful. I like, mean, what? what? I might be able to. My AC? 16? What's, your AC is 16? Your deck, yeah. your deck should be ma max by now, seriously, as a rogue. How is it max? How would it be max? I've been taking all these feats and shit. Uh, exactly. <laughs> well, Don't take problem. feats and shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite that's simple. Yeah. He's that's lucky. That's I wanted and... to get one more feat, and then I was going to start max. Well, yeah, well, you can't, then you can't complain about your, your, your decks then. I can complain about whatever I want to. <laughs> That's true. You can, but then you can just point the finger at yourself. Uh, um, well, if the only way for you to raise your decks is to get like armor plus one plus two. What do you have right now? Studded leather? Studded one? leather, yeah. yeah. Just no, get just those studded leather. Just get those oh. legendary robes for wizards that give you 15 plus two decks. decks. All, the All the other things will be useless for you. Huh? Plus one. Tec yeah, least. technically my dex is 13, uh, 15, but I got it ring of my protection. Lord. You need some I know, but I really wanted to get Fey Touch, so I get Misty Step. Bracers of dex, you need to be unarmored, I, I thought. No? But like you, you, but then don't you only get one use of Misty Step? <laughs> Unless you have yeah, other spell slots? Yeah, I guess so. Why, why, yeah, and like, do you really need that being a rogue? You could yeah, just disengage, you cutting action, disengage. Um, I mean, I could get you the uh, or make for my next level one of the joints would just be enhanced defense on your armor. Plus yeah, that would be a big deal. I'm yeah, looking at the don't do that. We have a bunch of recipes, but I don't see plus. Oh, yeah, we have a recipe for plus one armor. Really. <laughs> <laughs> And then I'm oh, gonna up my decks next. Yeah, that's how the Zelda got his armor that I have now. The recipe, next the recipe is not like a one-time use, Tiny. No, I'm saying I've, I've made i made my shield plus one. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, permanently. So I mean, it doesn't matter. I can make them. I got that. Yeah. Right, With that next level, I'll do two to decks. I'll be good. I'll be at 18. We'll be happy. Yeah. Or I'll get, get alert. Here. Did you uh, figure out what you want to scribe? Yeah, I'm gonna start. Can I scribe it in bits and pieces? Because it's gonna take me a long time. Um, I want to scribe uh, Edward's black tentacles. Oh. Well, <clears throat> I think it, isn't it one hour per level? I thought it was like two or something. No, I think it's one it's, hour per uh, level. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me see. Uh, just to confirm, would anyone be agitated if I wanted to use that emerald to make my my homunculus, or should I just use my money? You know, I'm what, since you agitated. asked, I'm you know, what, since no. you asked so nicely, use your own money. You'd be fine. <laughs> Damn. Oh, you're right. It is two hours per level. I, I have no use for that emerald personally. So if you want to use it, uh, uh, house rule that. Two hours and fifty gold per level, <clears throat> but yeah. um, I think like your specialty one takes half the time or something. At least for some I'm schools, a, I have no specialty. I am I'm a war war wizard. I just, a war wizard. All right, I just yeah. no, I said war wizard. I keep so thinking you're a necromancer. Where, where is your mind? Uh, uh, Jesus Christ, Wars. Um Obviously. <laughs> yeah. uh. Oh, Can yeah. I rip off these three spell scrolls too? Just like oh, yeah. Give it to me. 
they're level one. All right, so I guess oh, um, okay. let's see. Yeah, I guess that would take you eight hours, right? Because it's a fourth yeah. level spell. That's I mean, cool. or is that something I? You could do it tomorrow, like before you guys go someplace. Okay, maybe I could do half today and half tomorrow, something like that. The six, you probably are not going to go. Sure, to I'll I'll say uh, you can split it up. I mean, All that right, makes cool. sense because you'd be writing in your book. You could just stop and do it again later. Yeah. So, cool. <clears throat> let's see. It's about seven now. Uh, you can take time you guys go to bed yeah so you could take five hours tonight to get to midnight and then go to sleep uh so you're doing that is anyone else doing anything tonight hmm. don't I think mean, so I'm healing uh healing i'm gonna I'm a make me the uh screw it i'm gonna make me the homunculus hard it down god damn that's all expensive don't you have to do that during a uh, long rest Oh, yeah. I can only do one or the other, can't I? Oh, I don't know. Uh, what are you trying to do? Uh, needed health, but also wanted to finally make the damn homunculus, so I had some spells to hold. Well, go ahead and link homunculus. I mean, I don't think that means you can't rest. Uh, hold up. Where is it? There it is. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't list uh, <laughs> specifically. It just says. Yeah, it just talks about the effects of it. Uh, yeah, it doesn't say how it's created. Alright, uh, sure, I'll say if you have the gem, you can just do it. It doesn't take, uh, it's not a long rest then. So is that what you're doing? Uh, yeah, we'll say that. Alright. If it... I... Go ahead. Um, I was gonna say, I would also like to do, and I know this will cut into my scribing time, but I would like to send the arcane eye. Alright. Maybe... Maybe everybody can view through it, and, and I want to scope out the, the elves area. Uh, which area? Um, the elves area, the... what did we call uh, it? The we called it, um... The, yeah, the... where the orb was, around there. I want to... Oh! Someone's uh, bunker. The bunker. Uh, Cor Coraline bunker, yep. Alright, so you're sending it... <clears throat> Through the troll area down below. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what time are you doing this around? Uh, whenever it's most conven convenient. Um, before we all settle down, because I I would like to do it like and describe it to everybody. Well, and so they depending on the time you do it, you'll see different things. That's why I I was asking. Uh, uh, are you doing it later at night or like right around? After the uh, the short rest, um, later at night possibly before we okay. take our long rest. Yeah. So <laughs> kind of around midnight, right before you're gonna go to bed. Yeah. Uh, all right. So you send the eye through the halls. Uh, <clears throat> First thing you'd notice. As you're going through where you fought the Troll King, uh, there are a bunch of trolls assembled in this hall now. Uh, you would see ten of them, including, uh, what's his name? Ouchclap. Ouchclap. Uh, and they are all kind of, yeah, there are ten trolls in there, uh, all sort of talking to each other in giant. Oh. Um, your eye is invisible, right? The eye is invisible. Okay. Yeah, I'll paste it. Well, I agree. I, I mean, I, I, I believe you. I, th I kind of remember the spell. Uh, are you going to do anything with the eye here or just keep going past them? Unfortunately, I can't uh, hear through it, and I can't even hear them in, 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 
uh, oh, yeah. giant. So I'm going to keep moving. So I guess you wouldn't technically know what they're speaking, but it looks like they're talking to each other. Yeah. It just made me realize there's an interesting combo to be done with uh, Observant, but go ahead. Yeah. All right. So uh, you continue heading through the halls to the stairwell, then going this way, then to the room. Uh, you would see something strange. Uh, there is a figure sitting at the top of the stairwell. Uh, do you have uh, nature? No. All right. <clears throat> it looks like some kind of elf. Uh, <clears throat> some. Uh, <clears throat> you would guess it's a drow, although you're not sure exactly. It could be... Um, yeah, you would think it's a deep elf, which, uh, yeah, what, what drow are in this world. Uh, he or she, you're not sure, they have a mask on, and they're sort of sitting there near the top of the stairs, like, watching, keeping oh, an eye on the room. Uh, you have a picture of him? Yeah, hang on. Nice. I would describe uh, this to uh, Bogger, like, my eyes are rolled back in my head. As I'm like steering this arcane eye through, and I'm just meticulously describing everything. <laughs> Kyrene was sh Shatter Kai. Not oh, I, yeah. To my oh, actually, my you might recognize this as a shadow elf then. Oh. You know, what was the lady with the big sword we saw that one time? Oh, yeah. Another looked like shadow her. elf. She, yeah, was, she a was a shadow elf as well. Uh oh. Um, they're, they're pals. Actually, I don't have a good picture of them. Uh, but yeah, it is a. Uh, it, it's not Kyrene. Um, it looks like uh, almost like some kind of uh, like assassin, or it, like they have a mask over their face and their eyes are uh, tinted red, and they're just sort of yeah. watching the area. You don't recognize them, but you would guess. Yeah, you, you would guess it's a, a Shadow Elf. I forgot that you've seen Shadow Elves before. Uh, the figure does not seem to notice your arcane eye as it just continues to look over the area. It looks like they're on guard duty or something because they're just sitting there, uh, kind of uh, like, hidden in the shadows. Nice. I like to slip past them and go down. Okay. Uh, so you head down the stairs... To the Corellan Bunker. Now, do we have that arcane eye for you? A token? No. Okay. Maybe. Uh, maybe. Uh, owl, maybe. I guess I could use I'll a. Come up. I could use a five foot spell thing. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll I'll just describe it to you for now. But yeah, it would be good if we got one of those just for. Oh, a candle effect. might be a good token for it. Yeah. Uh, so you get to the bottom of the stairs, and okay. you would see several more of those shadow elves sort of casually um, lounging, like leaning up against the wall. Uh, they are fully armed. They look like mercenaries. They have arms and armor, like weaponry. And uh, one of them is dressed in strange-looking robes. Uh, as your eye comes down the stairs, he immediately looks over towards it. And he would say something in a language you can't hear, but you see his lips move uh, as he approaches the eye. What do you want to do? Is there a universal symbol for peace or something like that? Like uh, in the world of Gaian? Yeah, uh, probably, though I don't think your eye can make symbols, can it? Well, I was going to put make it float around and, 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 and trace that symbol in the air. Uh, <clears throat> sure. So it kind of floats around trying to make the P symbol. Uh, this uh, possible magic user is staring at it, and now a couple of the others are kind of looking in its direction, but you don't think they see it. Uh, you can't hear what they're saying. What do you want to do? Um... I will. He's looking right at it, huh? Yeah. 
You think he has detect invisibility? Yeah, of course. See invisibility. Or see invisibility. Well, I'm sorry, dude, but I'm going to scope out the rest of his place. <laughs> I think, yeah. I, right. I will describe this to the party, and, and they, they can... They, they can they can give me their input. What should I do? Go in further yeah. or, or back out? Go further. I mean, well, what do you have do? to, like, well, yeah, like, what's he going to do if you go further? Well, there is something he can do, possibly. Well, but I'm going to go, I'm going to go further. Yeah. Okay. Well, All right. Uh, where's oh, the where's eye going to go? Um, I'm going to look to the, um, well, those doors, do I recall if they seem to have any cracks or uh, keyholes in them that I can float through? If so, I would like to go through the doors. Well, let me see. <clears throat> can pass through an opening as small as one inch in diameter. Uh, yeah, I mean, well, I don't know if a keyhole is an inch. Okay. Um, if I can't slip so, through those doors. But I will say the north door is actually open. Oh, the oh, yeah. south oh, door is closed. Okay. Yeah, I'll go through the north door then. Okay. So you fly away and uh, he kind of looks like he gets a little upset as you fly up there. And where are you going to go? I'll go south here. And now I think I'll use the party token. But you're going into a new area. All right. Shh. Let me just guide it. Uh, so yeah, you fly, uh, I can move it. You fly down this okay. hallway. You see there's a door right here, uh, but it's closed. No, no, Correct. no openings you can tell. Continue on going to the west and then to the south. Okay. Keep so going. You're flying this way. Uh, looks like there is another door here. No holes or cracks. Uh, does not look like it. And yeah, now it looks like there is a hall south, or you can continue east. A go hall south. All right, so it looks like it kind of curves around, and then dead ends here. Okay, I'll continue this way. All right, so you fly back up, and this way. Uh, it looks like the uh, the hall goes south here, and you see it goes out into a cave area. Uh, possibly uh, some kind of door was once in the way, but it looks like it's been destroyed and knocked off. Now it's just, uh, you would go out there into a cave area, possibly into right. the under caves, like where the trolls might be. Interesting. I'll go north. This way. Okay. East and north. So you fly this way, and at this point behind you, you would see the uh, Shadow Elf caster kind of walking along and following the eye, saying something. Uh, you said you go north. I thought, I'll tell the party, and they can tell me whatever they want, um, if I should stop or not. Keep going! Okay, Keep going looks like there is a... Uh, two possible ways you can go, and the caster is still tailing you. I'm going to go east. Okay. Looks like there is a door. Dead end. No crack, no hole. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. <clears throat> Back the other way. All right, so as you um, turn... Guy's going to zip under his legs. Uh, as you get here, you now see two shadow elves uh the caster and another guy in robes who is now chanting oh uh, he's I, I knew it okay. and uh you would suddenly lose contact dispel right. magic you're okay. guessing he did a higher level dispel okay. all right well we sculpted it uh that's, what that's it for me tonight yeah. what did you say what a jerk yeah any, any, uh, any worthy caster would have done that. All right. Who is this guy flying around my dungeon? Who are dungeon? these shadow people? Who are these yeah. other shadow elves? More players in fucking Essex, man. 
Yeah. Or are there, is this black water? Uh, you're not exactly sure, because uh, it is strange that the Shadow Elves are down there. You would imagine they must have come from somewhere. You don't think they live there. By the way, guys, um, I'm doing five skeletons this time because <laughs> I only I only had a fifth level spell slot left. Um, so sorry. But now you're only gonna have fifteen skeletons left. <laughs> uh, I got the one, take the ones out of mine. And we have we, we have seventeen left. Seventeen is depending on you to make more. <laughs> yeah. Wait, who's making skeletons? Uh, Barrett. Mokun. Wait, is Barrett making them too? I don't think no, so. No, I can't make any. I think he was just saying, like, kill He's people. just creating dead bodies. Oh, yeah. I see. If I change some spells, I can make some. Oh, the skeletons. Mm -hmm. uh, is it alright if I start like putting some hit dice up for the long rest i ain't got no health still and exhaustion well during a long rest you gain back all your health and uh half of your hit dice which at this level i think is four uh, it is. Yeah. yeah um oh uh so for the night yeah hang on uh so, uh, yeah, so the night would pass without issue. Uh, go ahead and long rest. Okay, uh, first thing in the morning, I am going to leave my button on the board. I'm going to take the plus one off my hammer and put it on my armor on the end end time so that my hammer is not magical unless I cast a spell. Uh, can you make adamantine armor plus one? It's a good question. It's, uh, it's not. It's non magical, right? Uh, it's uh just a very strong metal. Is what adamantine is. Uh, a, a, like a dull black metal. It's all my blessing does is make. Uh, the item plus one to my AC, or plus one to damage and damage hit. Yeah, I know that Mithril and Adamantine don't technically count as magical. It doesn't say you can't. I know that like there's no there's no uh, entry for Adamantine armor that is like enchanted. Uh, so. Maybe. Let me get back to you on that. Ooh, okay. Seven How do I more days. Owl token smaller. The reason is I got a bunch of different spells that I can cast on a weapon to do different damages, but it's got to be a non magical weapon. That's why I'm taking it off. Uh, you set it to drawing, then you can shrink it. Okay. So I shrank it for you. Does that shrink for all new ones, too? Uh, if I save it as your default owl token, which I think I can do. Yeah, so now it should be saved. Thank you. Um, yeah, let me let me get back to you on the adamantine thing, just because uh, I know that there is no such thing as... Normally, there's no enchanted adamantine. Um, I, I need to see if artificers can do that. Uh, but, yeah, what do you all want to do? It's the next day. Uh, I'll tomorrow I'll get back to me on my portable forge, too. Yeah, I'll look into those things. Uh, what book is the portable forge from? Or is this a, uh, class ability? Nope. It, uh, I can't remember which one, but I'll find out. Because I was... I was searching for portable forge and nothing came up. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, I don't even think I can uh, scribe uh, that scroll, actually. I don't have enough magical ink. Oh. 
It's all good. Uh, I well, I think uh, does don't one of your people have uh, alchemy? Uh, yeah, I'll figure it out later. Um, I mean, technically, I got the alchemy kit, but that's it. Yeah, so I think it's um, what was the amount? You can make a certain amount of magical ink per hour. But uh, yeah, we can we can figure that out. So you could have Nibnob yeah. make you some magical ink out of the essence you have. Or components. Uh, but yeah, what does the group want to do today? No, oh, almost at the end of time anyways. But yeah. Oh, true. We are at 8.30. Uh, all right. Well, I guess we can pick it up next time if we want to end here. Uh, why don't we do MVP votes? All right. And yeah, I can look into the... Uh, <coughs> The um, whatever it's called, the enchanting. Let me see. What's that ability called to put a plus one on armor? Uh, blessing of the Forge. I mean, I guess I could just. Hmm. Also, from what I saw, it looks like there's no portable forge except for like three shows. It shows it. I think it was it. No. Uh. I thought that was like just something you got homebrew to get uh up. Yeah, I thought that was a homebrew item, but I could be wrong. Oh, it says adamantine armor is magical? Really? It is? Oh, At least see. that's what this uh, this post says about it. Uh, anyway, I'll, I can look into it. It's fine. I, yeah, think, I, just, uh, I would just assume it's a it's, um, certain type of metal. Uh, Alright, so... Whose vote am I missing? I think I'm missing Tiny. Yeah. Although I, th yeah. I think I know who's going to win, though. Just depends on how much it's they win by. Hmm? 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 My stuff's locked up. I live with the Nibnob. All right, so Alcus with four votes, your MVP. Nice. Good job, everyone. Passing over tiny. Uh, this was, uh, my shit ain't working all of a sudden. What yeah, I uh, <laughs> no, I think his uh, roll 20 is giving him problems. Yeah, I figured out the key to MVP is a divine smite. <laughs> on, a, on a crit, crit on yeah, a divine yeah, smite. Don't forget that you called the crit right, right before you crit. On an yeah. enemy that hits well, you for a 44. You know. <laughs> next yeah, time, just roll, roll D8s, you know? You don't, you don't, need, know? To, you don't need to hit yourself. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, apparently just... he rolls better with the D6s, so I don't know. Yeah. I, I, okay. I seem to. <laughs> but yeah. There was a lot just... of 5s and 6s. Uh, but yeah, good game, everyone. I'll look into some of yeah, those questions. So. Um, I'm just stoked about the head. You got your heads you, for your mantle. Uh, you got a bunch of them. You're you're oddly into these heads. I'm gonna be yeah, honest. Yeah. Barrett Barrett collects heads. Barrett has a problem. I mean, starting to get creeped out here. He is a he yeah, is a rich really guy. Fun. Rich guys are into weird stuff. I, I understand keeping trophies, but uh... yeah, like Barrett came from a family where they used to like just like <laughs> farm trolls. You know, like, like I like, get like sport. hunters that oh. have like their deer heads, their moose heads, but like yeah, we a killed a control show. head. That's a little. That's 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 that's, 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 that's a humanoid. That's a big prize for a dwarf. Just wants to yeah. go around killing exotic species, put in his fucking lodge. His Dude, how lodge. many people have a dire troll? See, head? even no. Nibnob's <laughs> calling you weird that's now. Not one, you. Still aren't loot. You can't sell it. Nibnob. You probably sell a troll head for at least a couple dollars. I guarantee you. Yeah. 
not good. <laughs> Just for anything for the right but I, but I don't think something having a value makes it loot, because like technically everything has a value. Try it out, hang it above the bar, and call the bar a troll head. I mean, that would be pretty fucking <laughs> sick. You walk into a bar, there's just a dire troll head just sitting there. I'm <laughs> pretty badass. Like, I've like, always the wanted to own a bar in D&D. Can we buy a bar? I yeah. thought you were going to say, I've always wanted to own a <laughs> dire like a troll head. I mean, I don't see why not, but... That's the end of <laughs> that's end of campaign goals. We'll yeah. See. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to be around guys. to run it, but you could own one somewhere. There's a retirement plan. I got real it's scared in that fight. Far. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that was uh, that was an interesting fight. <clears throat> I was like, I was like, we're gonna die here. <laughs> you always think we're gonna die. I actually thought at this time. The other times it was mostly jokes. Hmm. Yeah, that's what you said. I was having expecting to. I was having expecting to go down. Somebody to hit the troll. I get a. I get a failed save, uh, and and then I, I roll that one and die. I I, I was I was saving one uh my highest level spell slot just for a wall of force if if needed. If you like all went down, I was gonna put up a wall of force and then just go stabilize everybody. Um, <laughs> Look at love that doing with the chunk cards up in here. Yeah. But uh, you guys, we didn't need it, so, you know. Uh, I don't know if a wall of force would have been big enough to go around everyone. You may have had to make Uh, some decisions. Would have made a, I think I could have made it diagonally. Let me see how big it is. Um, (laughs) You would have had a second one. Diagonally. Um, You could have just made it, like, into the room and then ran back to a... to Chiron, and then just left them to die. No, uh, so I had. What did I have? <laughs> that would have been awkward for next session. I you had, all come in with I new had, characters. I had one <laughs> dimension door left, and that actually, a, uh, that actually yeah, happened to me once. Them. My 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 rogue uh, got away from a drow ambush that killed everyone else, and they all brought in new characters next game. How would you how would you do it for this game? They're like, oh, you're walking down a hall. All of a sudden, five people come walking. Out. Well, no, they probably would have been like, uh, like uh, what's his name's men, um, like maybe Blackwater's people who got away or something. I don't know. I could. Yeah, figure I mean, that. my dude was just there. <laughs> I could have figured something. Your dude's out. party got wiped out by Alhoun, though, so, right? I mean, I, I they did. Yeah, see, his guy, yeah, there you go. Exactly, that's what yeah, happened to him. They got riggedy wrecked. And he found a new party, so it's it's very plausible. Hopefully they don't get riggedy wrecked. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> but luckily you all survived, so we don't have to worry about it. Yeah. I just I just got out of there, but I just stayed, stayed over the like, so, I have so many story points now. Stay stay, stay tuned for next week when, when Alcaz talks about he almost how he thought he was going to die again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Alcaz didn't think that. Me, the player, thought that.